Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Before before we uh, put 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 that Malcolm X back, but Bishop, want to respond mm-hmm. to the last caller? Yeah. yeah. What the brother that that called last? I forgot the name. I'm getting. What was his name again? Mosiah. 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 Yes. What he said was heavy. A lot of times people get angry or disgruntled, and like the brother said, I'm not the Most High. I'm not Christ. Give me. Let me show you who I am. Get Luke seventeen ten. If you all want to know who I am, here I am right here in the Bible. <laughs> Luke chapter 17 and verse 10. So likewise ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. I am an unprofitable servant. All that I do is what I've been commanded to do. So I'm nobody. So whether you're disgruntled or you're angry about something, like some, you get some people who are angry at the truth because they disagree with what uh, Priest Ari I taught about the 12 tribes. Yes, yes sir. And uh, they, they, everything's balanced on his shoulders, like he's Christ, like he's the most high. Oh, and, and he went off right. at the end. Oh, he went, guess what? Didn't David go off? Yes, sir. That don't mean the truth is garbage now. <laughs> Didn't Solomon? Yes, said he, sir. I gave myself to folly, Solomon said, meaning sin. He mm-hmm. went the hell off. Right, right. That don't mean that his writings is garbage now. Right. But you get a lot of these disgruntled, angry Israelites mm-hmm. who look for things to say, well, I'm not following the truth no more because right. of Bishop right. Nathaniel. Right. He did right. this to me. Right. He said right. this. Or can I did this to me? So right. the, the truth now is garbage. Right. You're an idiot. You're a yes, fool. Sir. You're yes, insane. Sir. Bishop, you know what I always say to that? We have what what I noticed that in Israel we have we have a lot of people who come in the truth, right? They don't really believe, but they don't just get up and leave either. They're biding their time. Mm-hmm. They're That's biding true. their time. You got you got sisters doing that, brothers doing that. They're biding their time because they say, if I just get up and leave, they might say I'm evil. They're biding their time. The, the time they're biding was they're waiting for something. To happen, little something. And I, yeah, excuse. To that, use that right. as an excuse to say, you see, you see, I told you they were evil. You see, I told you because think about it. What just happened? Some people this have nothing to do with them. They left. <laughs> a brother called me. A brother called me right here in Riverdale. The brother said, "You hear what happened? The brother is extorting." But I said, uh, "Who told you that?" He said, "Well, the brother is starting to talk." I said, "Did you talk to Kanai?" He said, "No." I said, you were officer of 50, right? He said, yes. I said, uh, how long you know that brother that made the accusation? I only know him six months, uh, four months. I said, how long you know Kanai? I know Kanai for years. I said, don't the scripture say a judge got to hit both sides? Yeah, Yeah, brother, but you don't understand. But you didn't see his Facebook video? You didn't see his Facebook video? Brother, what the scripture said? What the scripture said? You got a hebo. I said, did you hear Kanai's side? No, I don't need to do that. I said, bro, 
What he, he is was this? Pit, he was pissed. I said, wait a minute. So you a judge? You call yourself a judge, <coughs> but you're gonna judge one side? You a terrible judge. I said, even in Esau courthouse, you can go in this street right now, kill somebody, and you got 150 witnesses. <coughs> the white man is still gonna give you a chance to defend yourself. Yes. They, and you know how the cops, for example, the cops who choke every gardener in New York, mm -hmm. they got it in video. Mm -hmm. Now they go to court. They try to convince the jury what, that what you see in the video, that's what it is. <laughs> Guess what? When they upload that video, millions of witnesses. Because once you upload the video, millions of witnesses see it. So now you got a, you got a, a defense lawyer gonna, who's going to come to what? 12 jury to tell them, no, nah, no. Nah, that's not what you, what you think you see, not what it is. The white man give you a chance to defend yourself. When you look, remember the book of Acts? Mm -hmm. When Paul, what Paul said, Paul said, the did a man ever accuse without giving a chance to defend himself? Mm -hmm. I, I, I know I'm misquoting it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I got one. I'm going to read it. John 7, 51 reads, Doth our law judge any man before it hear him you and see know thing? what he doeth? You hear that? So I said, you a judge. But I said, by the way, the man who accused him, did he show you any, any evidence? I said, I'll tell you what. Go to that brother, Kazalakia. Yeah, I'm going to say his name. Ryan I Pickett. said, Ryan. Ryan Pickett. I said, hey, show him. To ask him, can you show me the proof where he extorted you? I guarantee you, you don't have no proof. No. Hey, D. He never, he never showed him the proof. Hey, hey, we did dick and we're still waiting for yeah. the proof. Yeah. We're up to this day. Hey. We're still waiting for the proof. Hey, D. I remember that call. Yeah. But like you, you said, wasn't that, yeah, you wasn't that I call was on too. That call. Hey, yeah. A lot of brothers, like you said, will buy the time. Well, they'll wait on the time yes. to be able to make the exit. Because yes. correct me if I'm wrong. We caught the spirit on him when Captain Amaziah intervened. Well, shut up. You can shut up. Mad disrespectful yeah. Yeah. to Captain Amaziah. So yeah. something before Cap, you may have corrected him in the past, and he was biding his time. Biding their time. And waited and jumped on the first thing smoking. Just like just like people was leaving because this now this Sabbath is morning to morning. Right. Listen, hey, I, I listen, I say you were the biggest idiot right. in the planet to believe this Sabbath is morning to morning. Hey, remember, Deacon, just two, three weeks ago, a sister went on Facebook that used to be with us. Saying, oh, I want to talk about we uh, yeah. I'm dead and, and, and they took on all kinds of evil about me because I should have never left. That's the same thing. I heard. I heard. That, that's gossip, man. That's garbage. That's gossip. That's garbage. You, you, you a horrible judge. That, that's horrible, man. Some people leave because of the lust of other things. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Exactly. And all the, the, that can encompass anything. <laughs> hey, yes, anything. Yes, sir. Can you read this for me? Jeremiah 20 and verse 10. Something the prophet Jeremiah said is very uh, pertinent to us to this day. Jeremiah chapter 20 and verse 10. Read it out. For I heard the defaming of many. Defaming is like slander, okay? <laughs> he heard the slander of many. And that's what you're hearing against us, myself, the deacons, the captains, the leadership. Go ahead. Fear on every side. Mm -hmm. Report, say they. And we will report it. They want to hear gossip. They want to hear what's going on. They watch the videos to catch us in anything. Go ahead. All my familiars watched for my halting. All those All that are familiar, familiar with us, they watch for us to fall. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's yes, what Jeremiah is prophesying mm -hmm. about. Been right? in your home recording you and all types of right. stuff. Mm -hmm. Saying, per adventure, he will be enticed. Yeah, let's give him some money. Let's do this. Let's do that. And we shall prevail against him. And we shall take our revenge on him. So they wanted to do this to Jeremiah, and that's what's going on with us today. I'm, I'm sorry, Bishop. That's why I'm glad you. I'm glad you. Yeah, you notice that. Uh, excuse me, Cap. Don't forget you too. Yes, sir. Yeah, you notice that, Bishop. Like you just said, they're really they're really watch that video with details. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> with detail behind it, because that that automatically you make a mistake. The little mistake you made. They judge you for the whole, for that, like, I think he just make the statement, said, they was waiting for the exit. Yes. You understand? Just to say, you see, I got you. I got you. Then realize that, I, I, Lord, I just repent. What you got now? <laughs> right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Bishop, that, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm glad you brought out last night that order coming out. As far as you go on Facebook, social media, start defaming and say, oh, I put a post, but I didn't I didn't see that little part right there that defames or, 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 or shames the ministry. You getting suspended, man. That's the, the, the BS got to stop. That's called railing. Yes. Yeah. Hey, also, yeah. 
also, when we told brothers and sisters, well, leadership, part of my French, the bishops and the deacons made it clear, brothers and sisters, be mindful of that video. Don't watch it. You're going to get zapped. Yep. <laughs> who, who are you to tell me? I can't watch I'm it. I'm a grown ass watch man. It. They got microwaved. Bird boxed. Bird boxed. <laughs> yeah. Bird boxed. Bird boxed. Yep. They're out. Spoke much evil. Yep. Yep. The niggas left all of them in the dust. Yep. Yep. Boom. Now he changed. Cut his him off. Now he changed his number. Changed the number. <laughs> got all of them off. Cut them all off. Now they got some crazy stuff. Hey, they hey. leave. They listen. A bunch of brothers and sisters walk out of IUSC because of that demon. What is his name? Pickett. Ryan. Ryan Pickett. Pickett. Ryan Pickett. That that false accusation he made against Kanan. Now he's nowhere to now be found. Now guess what Ryan Pickett did? He changed his phone number. He cut all these things off. Yeah. Cut them all uh, off. He cut yeah. every single one of them off. Hey, now. And they left. They left because yeah. of him. Yeah. Now. No, they left because they wanted to go. Yep. Right. <laughs> now. They wanted to go. He was a scapegoat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some of yeah. them are calling back saying, hey, we want to come back. No. 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 Stay out. <laughs> what's Learn that, at home. Bishop, what's that scripture again? Um. Remit the sins you brought out like two weeks ago. Oh, sins are retained. Oh, retained. that was that was. Whew. Yeah. Yep. Right. Hey, some, you better repent can I get publicly. Some, can I get some real quick. This is Jeremiah nine and on four. This goes right back to Jeremiah. Jeremiah experiences all the time. He experienced the same spiritual experience. Two thousand eighteen. Jeremiah yeah. experienced it all throughout the books he wrote. Jeremiah nine and four. And Jeremiah five. chapter nine verse four. Take ye heed, every one of his neighbors. Y'all didn't do that. We warned y'all about it year by year. Be mindful. Be mindful. Paul get Paul warned for three years yep. with tears in his eyes. Yep. Be mindful of your neighbor. Be mindful of your brothers. Go ahead. Trust ye not in any brother. Don't trust in just any brother or sister that wear a ribbon of blue and fringes. Go ahead. For every brother brother will utterly supplant. Supplant means try to take your place. Mm. Try to replace you. Dang. That's what they were trying to do. They were trying to get rid of the leadership and take over. That yep. was the whole purpose. <laughs> Money, they saw, they didn't see a congregation, they saw a business. Yes. They didn't see a congregation say, we're going to get rid of these leaders, mm -hmm. we're going to take over, and we're going we to be paid. So uh, utterly supplant. Go ahead. And every neighbor will walk with slanders. Walk with slander. That's what they do. Next verse. And they will deceive everyone, his neighbor. That's the doctrine. Sunrise, Sabbath. Passover, um, stove top stuff and Passover. <laughs> stove top stuff and <laughs> it's madness, man. Madness. <laughs> Go ahead. And they will deceive everyone his neighbor and will not speak the truth. They will not speak truth. Mm. Go ahead. They have taught their tongue to speak lies. They edit videos. Mm. Damn. They create new doctrines. Mm. Or they'll speak in a way where they'll exonerate themselves. Where you see, I don't hate them per se. That's the that's the train themselves. It says they um they taught their tongue to speak lies, <laughs> meaning, meaning they, they they learned to become skillful at it, very manipulative, very slick and cunning, like a con artist almost. Go ahead and weary themselves to commit iniquity and find all kinds of scriptures they can use justify loving white folks. I love white people. <clears throat> yep. I love Chinese people. I love Arab people. I love everyone but myself. <laughs> My Caucasian brothers. My Caucasian brothers. I don't want you to die. <laughs> I don't want you to die. I want you to live. I love you, Jimmy. I love you, Beth. Oh, that's the, that's the that's the same spirit. <laughs> Don't forget Ned. Ned and all of them. Ned and Amber. Uh -huh. yeah, hey, I know we're going to continue. Yeah, yeah, I know we're going to continue right. with Malcolm X, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, I don't want to. I, I want to do a little side note. There's a hoe. <laughs> There's a hoe who said, "Are you is going to use that coronavirus to recruit people?" The hog is a virus herself. Damn! Drop a ball, brother. <laughs> the hog is a virus walking. Read it again! Literally, right? The hog, she was a virus before the coronavirus. Listen, ho, blue waffle. Get will of that virus you are scaring. Or carry. Because I don't think I don't think you can carry two virus. <laughs> You was already a virus. You already got the vi a virus. In other words, you cannot catch the coronavirus because you was already a virus. Virus cannot caught virus. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> and I'm just going to move on. Let's go back to Malcolm X. Rick Flair moment. Amazon, you talking moment. about uh, John 20, 23, oh, where Christ man. said, whosoever sins ye remit, yep. Yep. they are remitted unto them. Meaning yes. forgiven. Yep. Mm -hmm. And whosoever sins ye retain, they are retained, meaning they're not 
forgiven. They're not forgiven. <sighs> They're mm -hmm. That's what Christ gave leadership. Mm -hmm. The, the mm -hmm. power. The power. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't understand. No. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, Deacon. No, no, no. Deacon, this Deacon, your stuff is. Hey, go, let's go back to the Michael okay, West. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> are we, are we going to play go it? We're going to play a Deacon? We yes. Uh, let's, let's play this. Come on. Let's start it again. We're not brutalized because we're Muslims. We're brutalized because we are black people in America. Ah! Power of this man's courage to say this stuff that changed the entire trajectory of my life. He was becoming a figure that transcended the nation of Islam. It was politics that really started the rift between Malcolm and the nation. God, a white man is the greatest hate teacher that ever lived here. The FBI was deathly afraid of someone like Malcolm X. What kind of democracy is that? People had to start wondering if something happened to Elijah Muhammad and Malcolm becomes the leader, it's over for all of us. And stop. Just stop. You hear what he said? That's John 11. <laughs> My, uh, Elijah Muhammad children, those who was getting paid behind the scene. Because I did not know that they was making millions of dollars. Yeah. They was afraid when if my if my if Elijah Muhammad died, Malcolm X took over, it's over for them. Because what what Malcolm X was one of those, he was very strict. Yeah. In other words, he was not uh He had integrity. He had integrity, he was not taking money on the side. Right. So he was make sure and you know the funny thing is when he died, he was broke. He was broke. Yeah. But you got men that this man he built the nation of Islam. When they I mean, he wasn't making million, but that was making million off of him. When they firebombed the house, he had hundred and fifty dollars in his pocket. That's all he had left in his, to his name was hundred fifty bucks. They didn't, even let, burned. they didn't even let him have life insurance. Right. Mm. So they were impoverished. She was born and broke. And impoverished. And that's a fellow Muslim. You yeah, know, yeah, I thought yeah, about yeah, yeah. You know the the FBI, the FBI uh, for all their recording they had done. They're saying that they never see a guy straight like that. He was mm. not crooked. He's saying that he was straightforward. They could not find nothing wrong with that guy. Mm. <laughs> you talked about, you, you, who said about the life insurance? Got I was thinking about that earlier because he said they wouldn't let him have life. He couldn't even, because, you know, to get life insurance, you have to go to a, an insurance company and they have to assess your risk of dying. Right. Damn. And if your risk is too great, they said, this, is, this ain't no investment. We're going to lose the minute we give you the policy. So we're not doing that. My point behind that is that there's a level of unity behind that thing. In other words, the like Esau, his system is unified. When they blackball you, quote unquote, blackball you, or whiteball you, right? Where's the who's right? The, the, <laughs> when they whiteball you in in one in one uh, segment of the society, NBC, CBS, the schools, your your uh, economic systems, they all work together including the um the insurance company so they wasn't gonna uh gonna give him any insurance anyway my point behind that is that they uh was given the uh the feel that this man is gonna die soon so they know not to invest in that right you know it's 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 it's, it's really interesting because i was thinking and i don't want to really put this out there to, to, to turn anybody's mind around but when you was talking about how his house was firebombed that was one week prior to the actual death. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, sir. And then I'm, I'm listening to how they said the, the house was bombed with the Monotov cocktail. cocktail. And I remember something that Dothard Perry said. Because they were talking about when they blew up that the stage, work, stage, the stage yeah. work, mm -hmm. writer's workshop. Yes, yes. Explain Dothard Perry. Some Do people may okay, know. Dothard Perry was an informant of the FBI that was used to infiltrate many black groups during the time of the 60s and 70s. <laughs> the Panthers and, and different... Uh, organizations. Organizations. So he actually uh, came, uh, he was interviewed by Gil Noble. He had some pains, pains of conscience, so to speak, and he began to reveal some of the things that he was used for to infiltrate groups. And one of the things that he said was he said that when he burnt up the, the, uh, the writer's, writer's workshop, yeah. he said that why didn't you use more sophisticated means? Because they said they just used a regular Monotov cocktail because you never he said you never want to over sophisticate the devices that you use because people will say you know what maybe they people got mad and burned the damn theater down 
I'm I'm just saying. <coughs> I'm just saying. It could have been a situation where the a the three letter agencies had that done, and then because a week later he was actually killed by somebody who's been well protected right. by the same yes. three letters. So I'm just saying. Hey, I'm hey, just saying. It's just can. interesting because I people truly, be like, you know, like I said, th- that thing there, you would say, well, hey, they just use a regular thing that regular Negroes use. Yeah. So, you know. Just Cap, like right. But you know what's heavy about that? Behind that, they said they found a bottle of gasoline in the house. Yeah. Like the fireman could have put it. They said a police officer could put it. But he found See, a, I ain't a bottle that of gasoline mm-hmm. in his house after the house done burned. See? Right. You know what's news. So my bad deacon. You yeah. know what's so crazy? Uh, go ahead. I forget my thought. Yeah, in the news, after, after the bombing, they started putting unanimous quotes from police officers, fire department saying that it looked like, like he did it himself. Or it didn't look like it was arson. Right. Mm. You know? And you know, the thing we just mentioned about he didn't have even life insurance. Mm-hmm. Right? Remember his father, who was a follower of Marcus Garvey. Mm-hmm. He was murdered, mm-hmm. and his wife could not collect the insurance money exactly. mm. that he was that was due to family. So there you go. <laughs> that was a yeah. nervous breakdown. So there you go. Yeah. Right, right. That other part, Deacon Yasop, if you remember in the documentary where there was no police mm-hmm. at the hall. I was looking at day. all of that. Everything ties in. Then a crucial piece of evidence which tied to show who it was was left downstairs in the basement. Remember the podium? The podium. Yeah. With the buckshot. Right. They didn't even deal with that. that they left that shot. there. Right. You would think something like that would have been in the damn Smithsonian Museum right, exactly. for the <laughs> right. it, it, history of things right. that happened. Right, right. Yeah, so but again, so so again, it, again, it goes back to um, because we know that black folk pull the trigger yes. to kill them. Yes, yes. Uh, so that's, that's, just do- that's just documented. Right. Uh, but it is not to say that the three-letter agencies Didn't were not it, by, uh, directly implicit in that, knowing that the air was charged. Yes. They said it was a the, perfect storm. The perfect storm. That's the thing. So right, we can right, we can right. get what we want and not get the blame for it. Exactly. And and another thing in the documentary was when he died, there was a bunch of FBI informant inside there. Mm-hmm. So that means they know something was going to go down. They said right. that there were nine um, informants, and then after he was killed, two quit because they could not take it. Just remember. His own personal guard was, was one, Gene Roberts. Gene Roberts was right. one, right. and he was hurt. That's why he tried to resuscitate right. him. Right. And he saw sort of said to him, "Why'd you do that?" Then um, um, Tom Mod's hair, which tried to run, hit him with the chair. That's how they caught him outside. Yeah. He go, "Why'd you hit the guy with the chair? And why'd you try to save Malcolm?" He said, "I'm a police officer. That's what I'm supposed to do." Then the Edomite said, "When you work in that branch, it's not your job to think." Right. Thinking in that branch mm-hmm. is dangerous. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. follow orders and you and you just listen. That's it. So he gained a because what happened was he didn't believe in the ideology of Malcolm, but he believed in Malcolm's right. sincerity. Mm-hmm. And many of the other two of the informants that quit is the same thing. They were turning so slowly, now, but turning. Exactly. He was still like this guy really believes this. Right. He's, yeah. he's not full of BS right. like he most can. pastors. So they didn't really they weren't really following the doctrine per se. They were they were admiring his his discipline. Yes. And, yes. And that thing. So right. now, since we're talking about informant, mm. now let's bring it to Israel. Oh, I got one. Bring we we talked about the perfect storm. I'm going to draw a parallel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's an Edomite named Mark Reiser mm-hmm. who likes to call himself Vocab Malone. He did a video that said, I'm going to tell you something. In the near future, there's going to be a financial crisis in mm-hmm. IUIC. Mm-hmm. A few months later, yep. Bezalel puts a video with Kanai, how he's, uh, what's the word he used? Extorting. Extorting, da 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 Then right in the midst of that storm, Esau says, drop the video and with the murder the, right. of, of Joy, Joy Morgan. Morgan. Right, yep. right, yes, sir. All yes, that sir. was the perfect storm exactly. to destroy us. Yes. Exactly. Yes, sir. Exactly. And thank yes. God it didn't work. Right. Yes. Most high. And in both cases, they were trying to make it seem like we were implicit. Exactly. In it. Right. Yep. Right. Oh, we got a phone call? Uh, yeah, let's get the phone call. And then we're going to continue this because we're going we're gonna to talk about the agents. Shalom caller, what's your name, question, or comment? Hey, Shalom. Shalom. Uh, this is Brother Mitch. Yeah. Shalom, I brother. Just had a, uh, yeah, I just had a Shalom quick uh, comment. When I was watching the documentary, I definitely noticed some parallels. Uh, one thing I noticed that um, Islam is like a perfect reflection of the truth. Even though Islam is garbage, the Most High never ordained it for us. 
but they help the black people in terms of like women wearing mops apparel, uh, building the brothers up, um, you know, helping the brothers that were recently incarcerated, helping them out of the system, helping them get jobs and things like that. And that's the same thing that IUIC is doing now. And when I watch that documentary, I'm like, dang, mm -hmm. this is uh, Islam is a perfect reflection of the truth, even though it's garbage at the same time, you know. And another thing I noticed that in the documentary, any movement that's for the betterment of black people, COINTELPRO will be involved. Yes, mm -hmm. that's the point. You know, and one thing in Christianity, COINTELPRO is not involved. <laughs> so that made me realize how garbage Christianity mm -hmm. and how, how, how false it is, how garbage it is, because nobody's trying to destroy Christianity, mm -hmm. you know? So that's what, that's another thing I saw with the parallels that how Christianity is garbage because Cointel Pro is not in like the white man. He he like he's basically like look at my beautiful in Christianity. <laughs> they, they, you know that's basically how he feels like wow. Mm -hmm. they're, they're just perfect in Christianity. They're not and uh, another thing in in Islam and the truth. The parallel is you both realize who the enemy is. So it's a lot of good parallels, even though Islam is garbage, you realize who the enemy is too. So that's another parallel that I saw that if COINTELPRO will be involved, if it's for the betterment of black people and you will realize who your enemy is. So, and another thing is in the documentary, they try to kill Malcolm X. Like, I think they try to burn his house down or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I see that parallel now with uh, Bishop uh, Kanai. I'm like, dang. So it's basically, like Islam is like a perfect reflection of the truth, even though it's garbage at the same time. The most high just wanted us to see what is going to happen now that happened back then. Right. So that's hey. my comment, basically. Right. Thank you, and brother. I just want to right. say, uh, just protect yourselves like Bishop, Kanai, like Bishop, Nathaniel, Iganatha, all you brothers, like protect yourself. Even the officers, you got to protect yourself. You know, I got, I know some people know where you live and things like that. I just want to know, like, there's a lot of agents. So, Protect yourself, because we need you, brother. Now, thank you, bro. Now, the brother make a statement. Now, Kidan, remember that video that, remember that white woman white that looked like a, fish. that fish? Mm -hmm. yep. Remember that video she put up? She, she, uh, there was a statement she make. Uh, of course, today we know Cointelpo oh. is uh, SPLC. You, SPLC. Mm -hmm. So now, I want to show you guys something. Uh, since we're talking about agent, because this all have to do with agent. Now, Malcolm X, top bodyguard, was an FBI agent. You might, that, it's, it's, it's hard to be, isn't that something? Hard to believe. I think, I think he's working for Borsi. Yeah. Oh, that was NYPD. Yeah, yes. Right, that was, right. NYPD. So, he was a cop. Yes. The, the man that's next to him supposed to protect them was a cop. Yeah, but they don't give them a gun and all that. Up. No badge, no a badge. gun, or not, not even sworn in. Nothing. Not even sworn in. At the low level. They're just recognizance and nothing and stuff like that. So now, when once I show stuff like that, because you know, you know that scripture that Paul talked, Paul, Paul, uh, 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 at chapter 20, you quote that earlier, Deacon. A lot of us take that thing lightly. Mm -hmm. Paul said, I spent three years telling you guys this thing was going to happen. Your guys didn't believe. So now, this white woman, she said stuff like, sometimes we're going to bring false accusation against the leaders. to so, the, so in other words, to persuade the people to leave. Mm -hmm. That's the same, that's what we saw happen with Kanai. Mm -hmm. Bring false accusation. Because me, I, nothing, nothing is a coincidence. I find it crazy how all this thing happened. Boom, 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 boom. Remember that, remember that, that Negro in Austin that was calling every camp? Uzziah. That's a, that's an agent move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's an agent move for you to call every camp. Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? And, so, love and many of the camps, so we don't even know you. Yeah, he called Africa. <laughs> he called the camp in Africa. The blood in Africa said, who the hell are you? I don't even know who you are. Mm. That's an agent move. That's an FBI move. Yeah, that's, an agent. that's an agent move. So now, I want you, you to know, play that little part. You know, it was amazing how he, because you've spoken about him, and how he, in the years preceding that evil, mm -hmm. he was trying to usurp his way into the 
into the eyes of all of the people through these yes. conferences and stuff. So all that was a plan, even in all the of that was that. Right. So now I want you to play that little that you know what I did the clip I'm looking for. The part where she said, mm -hmm. "We we uh, bring force, we make up stuff about the leaders." He's probably gonna have to listen for that. You you don't know the timestamp. I think he got go, it. Go, go to the video I sent you. You got it. That's it. That's it. Oh, that's it. Okay. I mean, how much? How many minutes is this? It's just uh, twenty-seven seconds. Okay. Yeah. yeah play that. Snippet. What we try to do is bust up the groups. We try to sow discord among the organizations, show that the people who lead these organizations are hypocrites, and so on, to give people a chance to look at what they've gotten involved in and maybe reconsider it. Stop. And you've seen Stop. You hear what she said? We try to sow discord. Mm -hmm. We saw that live. We saw that happen, actually happen in the U.S. We try to sow discord. That's the same thing the FBI Girl. was doing in the Nation of Islam. They was trying to sow discord. So the FBI saw discord between Malcolm X and uh Elijah and, and Elijah Muhammad. When when don't get me wrong, we're gonna get to the to when Malcolm X make 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 don't get me wrong, Malcolm X make mistake also. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get into that. But what they was doing was they were trying to sow discord between Malcolm X, Elijah Muhammad. Malcolm, uh, Elijah Muhammad, children. It was all the FBI was after all that because the FBI know the FBI tap all the phone. You know they know exactly what was going on. Same thing in IUIC today. They tried to sow discord. That's why you see that brother come up with now. All of a sudden now, the Sabbath is morning to morning. That's sowing discord. Oh, you don't have to. You don't have to eat lamb no more. You can eat whatever you want. That's sowing discord. That's sowing conf confusion. That's what they're trying to do. And now Run. when it says. Uh Rose to righteous acts. That's not what that means. No, it's not what that means. Now this means just talk about the laws. Just talk yeah. about them. Yeah. So talk. in this court, oh, you don't have you. You cannot keep all the laws anymore. Hey, by the way, Christ said, Christ gonna. We taught us in the wilderness anyway. So you don't have if you if you have it if you if you get the laws wrong, it's okay. Mm -hmm. You don't have Deke, to keep it anymore. Deke, wasn't there a new one today about uh, the tokens of virginity? Yep. Mm. The new one today is that's paperwork. The token of virginity was the paperwork. Wow. Yeah. Wow. But this, what the wildebeest said, <laughs> uh, she said, we try to uh, reveal that the leaders are hypocrites. Yes. Yes. If you look at any man, any man or woman, long enough, you will find something. Yes. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, something what the scripture said. The scripture said, oh, you all know what the scripture is. I'm gonna paraphrase it. All our righteousness is as filthy rags. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if you think any of us walk in the perfection that Christ did, we're trying to, but when we stumble and fall, you better believe it. But th is that a justification to say, well, the Bible's false now? No. Right. That's why I brought up earlier, David fell in the midst of sin. Mm -hmm. King Solomon fell in the midst of sin. Samson fell in the midst. All of our four, most of them, you read about which were righteous men, mm -hmm. they at one point stumbled in the truth, but they got themselves back together. They got themselves again. back together. So Bishop, always remember that. That's why the scripture said, uh, the righteous are scarcely making. Mm -hmm. They all fall. I was going to say, that's why the scripture also says, curse be the man that trusted in man. You make mm -hmm. flesh your, your mm -hmm. arm, right. Right. whatever. So we got to put our faith, even though, you know, we're all in sinful flesh, but ultimately we're following Christ. Mm -hmm. That's the ultimate bottom line right. there. You know, we're following Christ. So uh, go back to the Michael Max thing. Take, yeah, take it off the screen. Oh, God. <laughs> she looked terrible. But she's white, though. And that counts. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you, said, you, said, you, said, you said they were She's red. She's red. You said yeah. they were no, 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 no. I know what I meant. You said they were In their mind, they, she's white. Pure. She's pure. No, no, no. She, she's not white. Snow. She's she's white. <laughs> white. White. <laughs> she's white. She's <laughs> white. Go ahead. Back, back it up a little bit. Back it up a little bit. Right there. Come in the nation. The greatest hate teacher that ever walked the right. The FBI was definitely afraid of someone like Malcolm X. What kind of democracy is that? People had to start wondering if something happened to Elijah Muhammad and Malcolm becomes the leader, it's over for all of us. And uh, just then the gunfire went off. Malcolm's death never sat right with me. The investigation was a failure. Asking who's guilty is a dangerous question to ask. What is the real story? It's in the history book. Leave it there. Leave it alone. Elijah Muhammad told thing? everybody, do not raise a hand against 
Malcolm X. He did not give the order. Someone would take care of The FBI should have known. Why doesn't someone want to get to the bottom of this? They never had any intentions of seriously investigating that assassination. That is my mission. I'm not going to stop until I get justice. Because the official count of who killed Malcolm X, it's not true. And, and, and guess what? The Nation of Islam know that. Two men spent 20 years each. Three of them get convicted, but the one of them actually confessed to it. Right. And the one that confessed said the other two, they got the other two one. Right. That wasn't the other two. Was four and others. guess what? They know that. The FBI know that. The Nation of Islam know that. The Nation of Islam know that. What they do is they cover it up. Mm. They cover it up and let these two men stay in jail. The men that's really killed them is right in the middle of them and, 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 and bragging. The, you mentioned about the men put in jail. I remember on some part of this, he said, what kind of uh, faith are they practicing to know that I'm an innocent man and they ain't trying to yeah. deal with me? That's somewhere in the document. I forget. Yeah, it answer, does. But it's in there. It it's is in there. there. It's in there. That show you how he, he said. He I, said are they, he, he, I, yes. His point was, are they really practicing? No, they're not. So they, he was saying, no. how could they knowingly know that this guy is over there in Moss 25 and I'm sitting here rotting and they know yeah. the deal. One of the guy, one of the guy actually who got accused who spent laughing his life 20 something in jail, he said what's so crazy was that everybody know who he was. They would have never let him in. He said even 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 if he had tried to get in that day. And when Malcolm, that, when Malcolm has got killed, they would not let him in because all of them know. The cops know who he was. Everybody know who he was. They would never let him in. And he said he was shocked when they come to his house and picked him up, said he was charged with murder. He said, what are you talking about? I wasn't even there. Your guys, your guys, they were low. Even if I tried to get in, your guys was not let me in. Oh, yeah. Right, right. You remember he said that? Yes. yes so they let him stay in jail for 20 years. One, yeah, one died and he got one, out. Yep. Right. And they was trying, and they were saying that the people that did the murder was from the actual mosque number seven. Yep. And they said, why would they use people that's in the mosque? Would they see them all the right, time? Right, right. So that's, they said that's not that's not that yes, doesn't make any that sense. That make no sense. They all knew them. Yeah, from the mosque. He in said, the hall. he said, just like one of y'all was saying, there was no way in the world, even if I wanted to, I would not have been able to get in so there because they know me. Yeah, they yeah. know me. Yeah. Yes, he said they know me. But Bishop, you want to say something? Yeah, I was gonna say a lot. Uh, a lot of them love man <clears throat> above mm -hmm. the word there, of God, and that's go. what Captain Amaziah was paraphrasing, paraphrasing in mm -hmm. Jeremiah seventeen. Can yes, you read sir. that? Yes, sir. Because I don't want people to misunderstand what that scripture is saying. Mm -hmm. The Book of Jeremiah, chapter seventeen, verse five. Read it out. Thus saith the Lord: Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm. This is when you love. A man so much that he can do no wrong. And when he does wrong, you all jacked up. But watch the next part of the verse that clears it up. And whose heart departeth from the Lord. Why? Mm. Your, the Lord's is the, the the Lord's writings is here in the Bible. This is paramount. This takes precedent over any man. So you could that's why uh, here's a precept. Look at uh Sirach 4. Verse 22. I'm going to help you out with this verse. Because people go, see, that's why I don't trust no man. Because man goes up. You simple as hell. Mm. Watch this. Sirach, 20, Sirach 4 verse 22. Read it out. Accept no person against thy soul. And let not the reverence of any man cause thee to fall. And when you put man on a pedestal, that's all of the, the our forefathers. That's right. why I, I preface what I was saying by many of them fell and stumbled in the truth. Right. Yes, sir. Right. But if our focus is the word of the most high. Once you right. go off from this, yeah. we out. Exactly. Exactly. You know, I always said. And that's remember Malcolm said. He, everything he would say, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad yes, said, exactly. Elijah Muhammad yes, said yes, that. Yes. He said that was a mistake that he would yeah. not make again. Go ahead. You know, I, go ahead. Go ahead, Kyle. I was going to say, that brought me back to last night with 1 Corinthians 1. Mm -hmm. Some would say, I am of Cephas, yeah. I am of Christ, I am of Paul, I am of Apollos. So what would happen if any one of those men were to fall? Mm -hmm. You going right, right out the door with them. Oh, right. well, I ain't going to listen to Paul because I was following Apollos. Uh, to hell with it now. I see it's, it's, now the Bible's fake. Mm -hmm. right. you know, so we put trust in man, you're gonna, you're, we are going to fall if you put your trust in man. Hey, that's what happened in Austin. That's what happened in Austin with that, 
with that so-called captain over there because there's uh, yeah I heard people say oh because he's a captain uh, you fail to understand captain is a title right. <laughs> you understand but that man still remain the demon he is but a lot of time what people will do they will just like discredit something because because in what another man does you understand not realize the word of God still gonna remain the same you understand so we have to discern from that but uh, what was happening is just like uh, Paul and, and uh, Bishop, you know what I mean, with all these classes, we lined up for these people before these things happened. None of them take heed to these classes. Nope. So that's why we even tell, tell a lot of uh, our, uh, yeah, our brothers and our sisters, we say, hey, uh, with the fourth chapter, that don't give a damn. So when Satan come in full mass, then, uh oh, I'm confused. No, you're not confused. <laughs> you're not confused. You never take heed. <laughs> You never think he, you're not confused. That's the reason why I say they wanted to leave. Mm -hmm. uh, some, hey, oh, I, I was going back to, um, in parallel to today, you got some camps putting man up. They ain't pushing the scriptures, they mm -hmm. pushing man. This man is this man, that only thing, every time you hear them talk, they talk about man. You understand? They ain't talking about the pushing, helping the people, pushing mm -hmm. the truth. You know, bringing the scriptures is all about this man that they put in front of anybody else and everybody else. You understand? You know, uh, uh, Earlier, I make a, I, I make a comment. I said, my comments make, make also make mistake. Mm -hmm. You know, I always said, I, 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 I was looking at something about the Black Panthers. And I truly believe that. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think the biggest mistake, the Black Panthers actually create a lot of good things. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest mistake the Black Panther made, the Black Panther forgot they're dealing with a man with no conscience. Mm -hmm. And so not Michael said that. Yes. Yeah. I think the black, the biggest mistake the Black Panther made is pick up weapon against the white man. I truly believe that. Right. What, let, me, what, let me explain why I said that. I, you can is looking at me. Let me explain why I said that. You talking about a man with no conscience, a man that will not only kill you but kill all your families. Right. right. That's how much the white man do it because they're the devil. Mm -hmm. So I truly believe. Like I said, the, the black men they create a lot of good stuff, but the mistake they made is is they underestimate the devil himself. Mm -hmm. uh, how they underestimated him by picking up weapon against that devil. Because one of the one of the biggest problems they have with the Israelite today is we teach against that. We teach against weapon. We teach against violence. That's one of the biggest problems they have because now they use. Even though Black Panther was not a violent group, but because they pick up weapon, they use that against them to right. kill them. Because if you listen to that devil, that FBI agent, that demon, what is his name? Uh, uh, J. Edgar Hoover. J. Edgar Hoover. His mission was to kill each and every single one of them. Mm -hmm. That was his mission. He didn't want to arrest him. He just wanted to kill him. That's why when they go to that young man's house, they just shoot him right mm. to the, to, to, uh, yeah, uh, uh, the walls. They didn't know where his bed was at. Yeah. Because they got informant inside. A right. black informant. Right. Yes, yeah. they just yes, uh, a black informant. W William O'Neill. Yes, right. they just kill him right there. So now, I truly believe that the Black Panthers underestimate the devil that they were dealing with. They didn't know the devil was going to kill kill them. Mm. I, was, I want to add to that. Good. Uh, look at Romans nine seventeen. The biggest mistake we could have right now is taking up arms against the white man. Let me tell you what Christ told the Apostle Paul to teach us about the white man. Watch what he says. Romans chapter 9 and verse 17. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh. Pharaoh is being used here as a metaphor for Esau, which mm -hmm. was Rome at this time that we're reading. Go ahead. Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up. Just as Egypt was the world superpower during the time of Moses, Rome was the world superpower during the time of Paul. And Rome is an America is an extension of ancient Rome. America has been lifted up to a power, a zenith that no other nation can match. That's what it means when it says, uh, what did it say? Even, Even for, for the same purpose, have I raised the, raised them up how? In power. You're dealing with a man, like Deacon said, who has no conscience, who can create chemical and biological war. What can we do against chemical nope. and biological war? Well, Nothing. No. A buddy of mine in the military, he said, be careful shaking hands with people. And this was a couple of years ago. I said, what do you mean? He said, America has a chemical that they showed us in the military where they can coat their hand on what is one sided and poison you. Wow. And then within a couple of days, you're dead. 
And he said, remember when Johnny Cochran uh, all of a sudden got a mysterious brain aneurysm yep. and dropped dead when he yes, wanted sir. to unify the black lawyers. Yep. He said Khalid Muhammad mysteriously had a brain aneurysm and dropped dead. Chavez. Chavez, Chavez. mysteriously had a brain aneurysm mm. and dropped dead. Everyone that rose up. So Paul is reminding us here. Here what it says, read it again, verse 17. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee. Right, God is raising up America, the white man, so that he can show his power. He's going to, the Lord is the only one that can take Babylon yes, the sir. Great down. Go ahead. Yes, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Because when he, the Lord takes down Babylon the Great and their European allies, then his name's going to be glorified throughout the entire planet Earth. Or priest. So. Now, we want to go oh, back. Oh, I'm sorry. Go back, Bishop. One more thing. One more thing. <laughs> go ahead, Bishop. The last caller, the last caller, uh -huh. I forgot the brother's Mosiah. name. Mosiah. Who? Mosiah. Mo no, not him. No, not him. The, the one last after. one. The, the one, one after. after. Brother, after. Brother, he compared us with okay. the nation of Islam. Okay. And he said, we're like, uh, I forgot the term he used. Uh, parallel. Uh, parallel. 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 Yeah. Right. The nation of Islam, don't get us wrong, brothers. They have some good qualities. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. Um, like you mentioned, the brother that called, he said the women are somewhat in order. They Modest they, dress. Modest dress. And that's good. We can glean from that. Mm -hmm. um, they have inside businesses. Mm -hmm. Like when we try to do Black Wall Street, there are things we like to, we can parallel. So I, I don't want y'all to think that everything they're doing is bad because they have some good qualities mm -hmm. that yes, we sir. can glean from. Absolutely. And our prayer and hope is that our brothers and sisters in the nation of Islam can come to the fullness of the truth that they are the Israelites. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Bible speaks of. Yes. And, and you know what? So what's what's uh, uh, go back to Deacon Laba say that earlier we were early on the show he was talking about for that moment for that little moment whatever these men do that's what they were supposed to do but earlier we was talking about um, I bring I bring the Black Panthers because I want to talk about we gotta we gotta talk about because remember we, we tried to break the documentary down so mm -hmm. we gotta talk about Malcolm X the mistake he made mm -hmm. when you watch when you're watching the documentary there's a part where in 1960, was it 64? When, JF, when JFK got killed. 64? Uh, 65? Um, I think it was 63. 63. 63. So when JFK got killed, uh, Elijah Muhammad told Malcolm X, do not say nothing about this man. Do not say nothing against him. He told Malcolm X, basically stay away from that. Malcolm had a speech he was to do. Yeah, Malcolm X was supposed to have a speech. He told Malcolm X, do not say nothing about J JFK. Elijah Muhammad had the speech yeah. and then he let Malcolm speak right. in his place. Yeah. Right. right? Malcolm X did the speech without saying nothing. And then the media, the reporter come and started asking him a question. And the, the, the reporter asked him about JFK. JFK. And he responded, he said, the chicken, how did he say? Come home to come roots. Home to the roots. chicken come right. to roots. And the whole thing blew. You know how the media can be. The media blew the whole thing out of proportion. But, but the point is, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Deacon. The point is, the point is, there is something called order. Order, order, order. And, and I got to bring this back up. That's why a lot of people hate our UIs. 100%. Because of order. That's why a lot of people hate camp. Because of order. Mm -hmm. If Bishop given order, our job, the deacon, is to follow that order to the fullest. If the deacon give an order, the captain need to follow that order to the fullest. If the captain do give an order, the officers have to follow that order. And he go down. And guess what? It's the same thing in his own military. Mm -hmm. So you might say, and I don't know, okay, you know where I'm going with this? I'm telling you what I'm, where I'm going with it. I'm showing you Malcolm X was not a perfect leader. That's where I'm going with that. He make mistake because his superior at that time, Elijah Muhammad, even though Elijah Muhammad was wicked himself, give him an order, he decided to disobey the order. Of course, we know when you disobey the order, consequence, the, you have to suffer the consequence. The consequence was he was suspended for what? 90, 90 days. 90 days. Yeah. But later on, he found out, you know, people getting into Muhammad is... Muhammad changed his mind and just actually kick him out of the nation of Islam. And that's how he ended up leaving the nation of Islam and he ended up to do his own thing and he got killed. Because he wanted to go back. Yes, he wanted to go back. Mm -hmm. But he found he didn't know they would kick him out until that uh, Muhammad Ali thing happened. Mm -hmm. He found out 
actually, he's not going to go back. back. He wasn't coming back. Because by that time, his um, Haji Muhammad's son was in his ear. He hated Malcolm. Yeah, he hated Malcolm. And, and they had informants in leadership positions that were also feeding the fire, also keeping that separation going, sowing that discord as well. Remember, so, they, they, uh-huh. remember they said the, the, I, the NOI was 50% agents, the leadership. Fifty mm-hmm. percent of the NOI was That's crazy. agents. Mm-hmm. What's that guy's name? Yeah, we got him too. <laughs> yeah, we got him too. What's that guy's name that played Baines? It was Shabazz. Something Shabazz. Um, J- James Shabazz, something yeah. like that. James. Uh, yeah, James, James Baines Sh- or something like that. No, not Baines is his name in the movie, but it's Shabazz. James. James. James like Shabazz. It was, it was James. Though. It was James yeah, Shabazz. Shabazz. Him. He was also very close to um, Elijah Muhammad. They were, yeah. They was in prison together before they both. Yes. Came into the yes. into the movement, so he had an animosity towards Malcolm also. So a lot of that hatred and envy, as you mentioned earlier, in the segment, um, played a heavy role. And all the informants who were placed for fifty percent of them, as you stated, were all in the ears of the actual leaders. Yes, so only furthering the envy and hatred that they had yes. already for Malcolm. Malcolm. Yes. So uh, you said uh, Elijah Muhammad and um, James Shabazz. They did time before. Mm-hmm. They Nation. learned this new form of Islam by Farad Muhammad, Muhammad yeah. who was a European, an Edomite. Yep. He taught them that. And when they got out, that's when they started uh, NOI. 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 Mm-hmm. Farad wow. Muhammad's an Edomite. Yes. Gypsy. Yes. He's a gypsy, yeah. a Romanian, something like that. And if you notice Spike Lee in the movie, I'm going to the other one. When Spike Lee did the movie uh, Malcolm, Malcolm X, X. Yeah. Yeah, anytime movie. you see them talk, you see the picture right, right. of Farad Muhammad, a white man on the wall. In the back, yeah. Then when they showed... Um, Malcolm X's father mm. preaching in a church. You had a picture of white, white Jesus. Jesus on a wall. Mm. <laughs> Spike Lee was very creative when he did that. And he was yeah. trying to say something without saying it. Yep. Uh-huh. Mm. Yes, sir. Yeah. I believe we got a phone call, correct? Go ahead. Wow. Oh, hey, what the hell happened with the mic? All right, let's take. But it was... I can hear you, Deep. Okay. I hear you. I'll let him All right, Shalom, it. call up. What's your name, question, or comment? <coughs> uh, shalom, Shalom, my leadership. Uh, my name is Mike. South Carolina. Um, I just wanted to uh, make a comment uh, about the documentary Malcolm X also, but first I want to make a comment about another uh, film that was done, I think was back in 1981, uh, where Morgan Freeman played Malcolm X. It was called uh, Death of a Prophet. I'm pretty Mm. sure uh, some of you probably seen the film. Yes. Um, But I had saw the film twice back in the night, but it's crazy how when you don't look at things <coughs> spiritualized myth mm-hmm. certain, you know, details in the film. Um I remember running across the clip uh shortly after this documentary that's out now that came out of the film, Death of a Prophet. Mm-hmm. Um there's a five minute clip on YouTube entitled uh Morgan Freeman is Malcolm X bookstore scene. Now, there's about one minute into the clip, it solidifies everything you guys are saying about Malcolm X as far as he knew who we were as a people. Because there's a scene uh, where he goes into the bookstore to pick up some books he had ordered. And the guy warns him about the things that he's researching and that these books will get him killed as it did many men of the past. And then goes off right toward the end before Malcolm um, gets ready to walk out the bookstore. He goes off into saying, you know, this is what got a lot of those other prophets of the old killed. And then Malcolm kind of looked at him and said, um, who are you referring to? And he started mentioning Jeremiah, Ezekiel, uh, Amos, and then he said, you know, the children of Israel. And at that point, Malcolm kind of looked, laughed it off, and then he walked out the bookstore. But I just wanted to throw that out there, uh, that, you know, th- this stuff is out here in plain sight, and if you're not really looking for it, you will miss it. And one of the things I wanted to comment about the actual documentary, I remember years ago um, when... Uh, I think it was Spike Lee did his documentary there was some rumors circulating going around that there was a shooter up into the law that supposedly had killed Malcolm X because they didn't think that the people that they had put there um, 
to actually do the assassination was going to kill him. Now, that comment came to mind when I was watching this documentary because I was looking at the bullet holes, how random they were, all in the bottom of the stage, real low as if they were trying to send him a message uh, or a warning. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just going into what I had heard years ago and looking at all the positioning of the bullet holes, how everything was random. It was almost like they were trying to just scare him, but the shot came actually from a shooter because when it showed him laying on the autopsy table, there were three bullet holes right next to the part where it looked like he had actually been taken out by, um, I guess, a trained shooter, I want to say. But um, that's all I had. I just want to say... All praise to the Most High. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm blessed to uh, get the wisdom that you guys, well, uh, actually Israel is blessed to get the wisdom Thank that you, you guys uh, put out of the good work. Um, and, you know, with all this going on, all of you guys, just just keep a oh, close eye out for each other with everything that's going on. Oh, shalom. Oh, shalom. Oh, shalom. Hey, hey it's not a... Can Cut. I comment on what he said about the bullets? Yes, go. Um, remember, you watched the documentary. It says William Browdy was an expert with the shotgun. Yes. Mm -hmm. Expert. And, th and that's what killed him. And he also had a bullet in his chin because they were on the stage. He was, was on the stage, so they shot out. from under because they were un they were low. And then he, as he fell, they shot him while he was down. So they were shooting him pretty much up, up, up the chest and in his chin and so forth. That's what the bullets was, were um, like that. So uh, let's go back to the mistake Malcolm X made. Of course, one of the mistakes he made, he didn't follow the order. Uh, can I say something before you yes, get that? Yes, it's sir. right on the point of, of yes, your sir, last, yes, sir, your yes, last sir, point. Yes, you, was make, you, you, you was making a point that um, about when he was being interviewed by the Edomite. And he asked him that question. Yes. And um, the, the point that you was making is that he asked the question because he felt that Malcolm wanted to say something. Yes. Is that is that is that the point you was bringing that's, out? Yeah, that's what the point I was bringing I, out. I say that because, you know, all we're trying to repent, but the, the but this is this system has created Negroes, and what I mean by Negroes, meaning that we're emotional. Mm -hmm. We want we we, we want to uh, move forward of discipline. We want to uh, we we want to uh, jump ahead of discipline. I should say and not adhere to what you're about to go into. And Esau knows that. Yes, he does. So when he asked that question, he's saying, listen, I could, I'm could. i seeing that you have a little bit of uh, uh, difference with your leader. So I'm gonna ask you the question and give you a chance to say, and if you're gonna end up going against, because he didn't know he wasn't supposed to say anything, but he knew that he wanted to say more, and he asked him, and he went. He took the bait. He took the he bait. Took yeah. the bait, and then they got him. That's 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 exactly what you said. Emotion. Yeah. It, it, that's what Bishop always said. A leader cannot be emotional because why? Emotion block your judgment. Emotion can actually block your judgment. So, uh, and not only that mistake Malcolm made, and it was rightfully. By the way, I'm sorry. And it was it, you know his emotion was justified. He was. But you have to know when to, to do what you yes. need. Right. You have to. Yes. You know, there's a yeah. time and season for exactly. all things. Exactly. And that wasn't the time. Exactly. And that's, and exactly. Perhaps that's what his leader was trying yes. to tell him. Exactly. Because I remember Bishop Bishop always said that. Okay. For example, let's say a man was evil as hell. I use the word perhaps. And most I got bring the judgment. Yeah. At that time when that thing first happened, everybody is very emotional. Right. In the morning. The, in, the, right. in the morning. This is not the time for you to go out there and say something stupid. Just like when September 11 happened, some Israelites like, go in the street, start wanting them off, all of them get arrested. Mm -hmm. All of them get arrested. Exactly. It's not the time when that when that little the, kid got killed in New York. The, right. And uh, uh yes have said, hey, do not go out there. Start blasting people because the, the crowd is going to turn against you. So what we did, we said, okay, so we go just go passing flyers. But the group that went out there, mm -hmm. yeah. the people, the people turned in, against them. In that was the Spanish the kid. Right. They got yeah. stabbed. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. the Dominican yeah. brother. So yes. there's that's why in uh, Ecclesiastes he said there's a time for everything. Mm -hmm. But 
some of us we 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 so emotional. Uh, right, that's the point. We so emotional, we not. And that's the discipline that has to yes. overshadow your emotions. Mm. Another mistake I think Malcolm X made, Bishop, you can jump anytime. <laughs> Another mistake I think Malcolm X made is when he speak against his hel- elder. Because mm. you know, the, uh, in the documentary, I learned a lot of a lot of stuff they put in the documentary is not in his book. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't know him and Elijah Muhammad was going back and forth. What do you mean? Arguing. Oh. Remember the documentary? What? There, there is some stuff he's saying when he was saying, uh, you know, he's an old man, he's getting senile. Well, that came, that, well, that, was, that came after the, his, um, that came after them taking the house from him. Yeah. And they took the house. Well, he lost the case to the house. That's when he, he the business set in. But yeah, the business set in. Yes. Right. But hold on now. You got to understand because I wrote something down and I wanted to speak on that and y'all are on it now. Yeah. Go ahead. These people that also had a, had a greater agenda to take out Malcolm X saw, again, the perfect storm and exacerbated the tensions between them. That's yes. the reason why they was making they the did. recordings. And then they get with the press, and then they'll, say, they'll even do fake letterheads like we talk mm-hmm. about. They'll do that to inflame uh, troubled relations into volatile, explosive ones. Mm-hmm. And then they, then when they go and, 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 and act that out or something, or something go down, everybody's going to be like, it was because of that. When really, the people behind the scenes were the ones that was manipulating the strings to get mm-hmm. the results hey, that they hey, wanted. Hey, D, um, if you remember, you mentioned the perfect storm um, earlier, and I want to bring that out, that if you remember, the at, that's an event, um, mm-hmm. you know, when he does the speeches and all of that, you have a certain amount of police presence that mm-hmm. would follow him and know this is an event, we're going to set up police over here, over there, and over there. But that... Audubon that Sunday morning, there was only, if you remember right, it was only like two police mm-hmm. officers on it, the, like the upstairs top floor. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, no police presence at all. No, 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 no deterrent. No deterrent. He knew it. Mm. He knew that death was because one coming. of the, yes, one, yes, one yes, of the yes. bodyguards, he sent him to make a phone call. And he said, you could have got anybody to do that. But he, that's why he cry every time he speak on it. You, the, the brother, you know, you know brother. he always he gets emotional because he realized that Malcolm saved his life. His name is Earl. Earl, Earl right. He Earl, recently passed away. Right. Yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that that, that was a the situation there. And uh, and that gets into the um, to the paranoia that began to come. Because that's, that's what the agencies will do, the three-letter agencies. will have your phones, you know, this is going to happen to you. That's how, and will use all the elements to drive you insane. Same thing they did with what's the squirrel name Seaberg. I'm just using that as an example. How they drove her uh, into Gene madness. Seberg. Gene Seaberg. Gene Seaberg. Right. They'll do that, and that's how Malcolm was. His house got bombed, and you could see the paranoia on his right. face. So he was getting to the huh? You see the stress. You on can his see face. the stress. Yeah. All that yeah. because he's he's seeing he's he's not dumb. He's seeing the elements coming together. He said, "My life is really about the end." Right. And he was really at the end of it. He was kind of tired. He was like, "Listen, just a, a D. You know, you know what's you know? funny? It's not funny, but yeah. If you remember in one of the interviews he did after, I think it was around the time of the fire bombing, where he said, "Listen, if I was saying the same things uh, that I'm saying, and I was in the NR, and I heard somebody saying what I'm saying, yeah, I want to kill me too. Exactly. Knowing, knowing of uh, the mindset, and the, the brainwash that right. that that exactly. I, you know, that I, that I know what these men are, that these that men capable, do are right. capable of. Right. I kill me too. Yeah." I do want to say something. Uh, Deacon, you said um, he started to speak out against Elijah Muhammad uh, after he lost the house. Mm-hmm. Was, was it justified for him to lose the house? That's my question. Yes, based upon the, the agreement of him while under, the, under Islam. Right. Because remember the scripture says do all things in right. In right, yeah. And the stipulation in the contract was, mm-hmm. I, I forgot how it was worded. It said that if you are, if you are a... Uh, I was, I was, I'm lack of a better word. Mind. If you are a minister over a mosque, then you're entitled to the, um, to the benefits, f- benefits of Islam, which is taking right. care of the house. <laughs> his, his income and his house was all Islam. Right. The exactly. organization itself. And I'm, I'm drawing a parallel because remember in Africa, we, uh, the congregations and do, due to the donation center, mm-hmm. we have purchased or, or rented, rented uh, uh, many, Places for the brothers yeah, po- yeah, apartment and for them. sisters in some of the African yeah. nations, yeah. and we put a stipulation. Uh, what was it? I forgot. You help. The, s- the stipulation is: if the devil jump on you, we got the right to come and kick you, kick you behind. Out. Right. 
<laughs> exactly. That was it. Now, you also made a statement about somebody, I forgot who said about speaking against, when Malcolm spoke against Elijah Muhammad. Yes, I did. Uh, when you read 1 Timothy chapter 5, can we read that real quick? And verse 1. And if you notice this, I'm drawing a parallel with the Israelite community. Mm -hmm. Israelites today have no honor mm -hmm. amongst mm -hmm. themselves. Read that no, first. No, they don't. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. We should need to say that thing again. Israelites really? today <laughs> have no honor amongst them at all. Because they're still Negroes. Yes. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 1. Rebuke not an elder, mm. but entreat him as a father, and the younger men as brethren. This is why when you read throughout the scriptures, like King David and mm -hmm. King Saul, David never went on a campaign against King Saul. He mm -hmm. always honored him. Even when he could have put him to death, yes. he showed him respect. Yes. Today... We have, like, that's what, we don't speak against uh, King David when he went off. We don't condemn Solomon when he never right. went off or Samson. We right. don't do that. You yeah. don't do that. The forefathers, like you brought out, and I had to learn this in time, because Marshall, you're right. He did teach us to stop speaking yep. and condemning Martin Luther King. Yep. Because if it wasn't for him, mm -hmm. the God using him, we couldn't do the things we exactly. did today. Mm -hmm. And that came with, with maturity and time. Oh, yeah. praise. Because we yes. used to get on him right. hard. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, today, I remember an uh, Israelite brother, I ain't going to call his name, and uh, as a leader, he called me and wanted to do a documentary. And he asked me how well did I know the elder. I said, pretty well. Because I said, because he came, this particular elder I'm making reference who came in a little bit after the split. Mm -hmm. He wanted me to sit down with him and do a video and bring up all the sins that I was witness to my elders who taught, who taught me mm. to do a video. I said, I will never do a video like no. that. Their shame is my shame. Yes. Because right. those are the fathers that God put over me to teach me the little bit that I know. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> and our people, this is why, this is what Timothy, Paul was writing That's to Timothy That's the reason why here. you don't hear us speak against the elders even now. We still right. don't. Exactly. Because we remember this. Exactly. Read, read it again. Read it again. <laughs> First Timothy chapter 5, verse 1. Read it again. Rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father. You know what that, that this is a precept for the commandment, the fifth commandment, which says, honor your father and mother that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God gives you. Most people will read that and go, oh, that's just about your earthly mother and father. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. It extends to the fathers and mothers because it goes into the mothers in the next verse. Yes, sir. The, read the next verse. The, verse two, the elder women as mothers, mm -hmm. the younger as sisters with all purity. So when the law came out and said, honor your father and mother, that goes from your earthly parents to the parents that God put over you in the spiritual mm -hmm. realm to help teach you and guide you. Yes, the sir. average Negro don't understand that. Nope. Yes, sir. This is why they're condemning Masha on video, condemning Arya on video, condemning Shia on yeah. video, yep. condemning the elders. Mm -hmm. and, and Bishop, I'm gonna, hey, we're going to bring it right back to IUIC. Mm -hmm. Israel, I don't know if you know, every single man in Austin was taught by Kunai. Mm -hmm. Not only was taught, there were ways in that position there was by Kunai. Mm -hmm. Isn't that isn't that crazy? Yeah. Wow. Isn't that something? Every single one of them, who they learn from? Kunai. Every single one of them, who raised them up in that position? Some of them was captain. Mm -hmm. Some of them was high ranking officers. Who raised them up? Kunai. I remember when Kunai wanted Jomo to be captain of 400, you said, I, I, I don't see it. Right. I disagreed. Yeah. Bishop Netanyahu said, I, I, I disagree. I don't see it. I don't see what work he do to put them all up there. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Every single one of them went on Facebook, spoke evil against them. Mm -hmm. Every single one of them. But they, oh, by the way, not only he taught them, not only he raised them, he fed them. Mm -hmm. Every single one of them used to go to his house, Barbecue. barbecuing, Drinking, they all betrayed him. They all turned against him. Now, now, con mm. regarding Kanai, he, he he repented, right? He yes. repented of the evil he did. Right. Now, just to parallel or kind of go back off, bounce off of that. Remember when um when Malcolm after they took the house from him, he was angry, yeah. and he brought up again. He did it before. He brought up again more vehemently about how. Elijah was making babies all over the place with the young girls. Yes, yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Secretaries in the in the nation, and they came forward, right? So they asked the man. He he goes, Malcolm X was a was hundred percent right. He he, he Malcolm X believed that once he brought the information out, 
the, the organization yeah. will crumble. So yeah. he started giving, coming bitter a little bit. Yes. So then the guy said he was 100% right, 1,000% right in that, but he didn't do anything. He was no, 1,000% wrong. Wrong. 1,000% wrong, 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 wrong in, th- right, in yeah. thinking that that would affect the organization because the guy, they asked the guy, did you know that Elijah Muhammad was making children all over the place? He was like, yeah. He goes, so how could you follow a man that's a, a leader that you call a prophet or whatever that went, and did, went against his own teachings? He says, do you fault David who was on his rooftop oh, right, right, and right, looked right. at a woman yes. and had a man I remember had, that scene. had her husband right, right, killed right, right, and right, took right, her right. anyway? Yes. He goes, do you frown on him? He goes, do you Christians frown upon David? He said, he said, so he said, he said how do you say, how you see when Elijah Muhammad? He said, we saw Elijah Muhammad as divine. They deified Elijah Muhammad. He could do no wrong. So when anything Malcolm X did that was wrong, I mean that um that um, Elijah Muhammad did that was wrong, it didn't work. So so Malcolm spoke evil of his leader. Despite when Elijah did a, lot, did a lot to help him. He took he took care of him, he gave him an income. Despite the things aside from the beat that they had, Elijah Muhammad still took care of him. Yes. And reformed him through his teachings and come out of prison. He went from Malcolm Little to X based upon his teachings. Mm-hmm. So Malcolm in, um, out of anger, and, and, and of course, we'd all be angry if someone took your house. You got family, you got your, your daughters. Mm-hmm. Understandably so, he was angry, but he he believed after a while it became personal. It was no longer with him, it was no longer a religious um, dispute. It became a personal beef from the house thing. Mm-hmm. That made it personal. But, and, but again, all of that stuff, that storm, that goes back to all that was orchestrated, all that was the informants. This is the time all that to was, strike. This is the time to strike while the iron is hot because these guys are angry. And now that he took the house from him, I'm pretty sure that someone's involved in that. Someone was involved and said, why don't you take his house from him? Someone put that in Elijah's ear because Elijah loved him. Yes. So I'm pretty sure I'm... Hey, Lord, you Lord know what's know so it, funny? But I, I'm pretty sure that the informants or the hater or the envious on, in, in Elijah Muhammad's circle put that in his head. Hey, take the house from him. The same way someone in his ear was like, hey, yeah. um, uh, what's his name? Um, plant bro, what's the his name? The, the guy, Kazalaki, what's his name? Oh, Kazalaki. Brian Pickett. 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 Take your house back from him, from Kanai. Yes. Take it back hey, from him. Because hey, I was there and stopped before. Right. Someone was in his ear. It's the yes. same parallel. He's the same parallel. Kazalaki. I'm going to say Kazalaki because a lot of people know him by Kazalaki. Right. I'm going to say Kazalaki. When this thing first happened, I talked to Kazalaki many times. Mm-hmm. Kazalaki's attention was different from these names. But the but the 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 mistake Kazalaki make is he start listen these negroes was in his ears he start taking phone call from them you got Mac Thomas was in his ears all of them was in his ears and his ears his mom's his mom is his, his wife ears. because his wife never liked Kanai his wife hate Kanai I thought she liked him no she hate Kanai wow. she his wife hate Kanai so when that thing happened his wife was in his ears all these people was in his ears so what he do because i'm telling you i talked to this brother many times on the phone he you know what he said to me you know what the brother the brother said listen can i never did what they said he said me and can i we have a little a little differences i said but bro if you have a little difference you're supposed to uh, uh, call him and work things out and he said listen me and can i have a big a perfect business relationship together so that's that's how I know they got into his ears because he tell me one thing, and then he make a video. I'm like, wait a minute, that's not what this brother told me. That's how I know they got into his ears. And it's the same thing what you just said. Right. Like for example, all these men, can I can I love these men? Yeah. Can I love these men? He look at that's why can I look at these men as their own his own kids? Mm. He loved these men. And that's why he can't, he can't believe how they turn on him. He loved these men. Hey, dig. And when that thing happened, now they're getting to the blood of ears. Hey, tell, hey, tell the people he haven't paid you rent. Tell them. And then we actually, that's not what happened. Mm. But they say, oh, do this, do that. Oh, mm-hmm. because what they want to do, they want to picture, put a picture in the people's mind. Mm-hmm. Kanai is the ah. perfect devil. Mm. Right. That's what they wanted to do. It's the same thing with the nation of Islam. Mm. Right. Same thing. Hey, D, not to mention, not only did he tell you that, but remember, this guy is pushing men around all over the damn field. That's what I'm telling you. Talking about, he extorted me. Not only did he tell you that, he stood in front of a whole congregation and said that I'm not being extorted. Can I, our business practices are perfectly fine. Yep. 
And so you said they got in his ears. They ear. got into his ears. And he it's said, the same thing. Yes. Said, and I know he said, I know business. He said, this guy tried to tell me about business. I know business. I've been doing business for years. Now, all of a sudden, now this guy said, because why? He let this guy get into his ears. Now, little by little bit, he started changing little by little bit. Little by little bit, he started changing because the, the, uh, that thing really started getting into his ears. But, hey, uh, hey, you know what happened too, Deacon? Um, at one point, you seen uh, Elijah Muhammad said that he gonna catch himself and he gonna come crawling back to me too. He saw that. Mm -hmm. exactly. He said, yeah, he, said yeah, he gonna he said catch that. himself and he yeah. gonna come crawling back to me. Right. Malcolm said he wanted to go back. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So right. the three months turned into six right. months. But that, around him. Right. But again, going back to because we saw that yesterday, uh, going back to the point, um, the three letter agencies mm -hmm. downplay that. You don't hear much of that at all. You don't hear much of that at all because that doesn't go in conjunction with the with the storm. That doesn't go with the storm. Y'all all right? Yo, Laba is a trip, man. What's going on over there, man? <laughs> Messing up my flow. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have no flow. Dude. I had no, didn't flow. Have no flow. But uh. <laughs> You know, but yeah, yeah you done messed they, it up they now. So no, you, you were saying you were saying that they, they didn't play too much of the, of the whole yeah, reconciliation because part. They, yes. right, they wanted that narrative to be out there that that they were, that, that, they, that they were the ones and and our hands are clean. Right, right. I guess I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Oh no, good, good, I thought good. But give Second Samuel thirteen. This this is kind of a negative example. I'm, I'm going to use it just to this part. Second Samuel thirteen verse one. This is David's son Amnon who was lusting for his sister. All right, and he 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 was lusting for his his head. This is a, I'm going to say it's like a negative example, but I'm going to give you an example of someone in your ear. Like in the Lord of the Rings movie, there was a guy named Worm Tongue. Worm yes. Tongue. Uh -huh. He was in the king's ear and he was yep. deteriorating the king. So this guy, Emna, had a lust spirit on him. And rather than the man, well, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to jump ahead. Let's read it. Verse 1 to verse uh, 3. Second Samuel chapter 13, verse 1. And it came to pass after this that Absalom, the son of David, had a fierce sister. Beautiful sister. Whose name was Tamar. And Amnon, the son of David, loved her. And Amnon was so vexed that he felt sick for his sister Tamar. He lusted after her. Go ahead. For she was a virgin. And Amnon thought it hard for him to do anything to her. He couldn't because that was his sister. Go ahead. They were half sister. Go ahead. But so called half sister. Go ahead. But Amnon had a friend. Amnon had a friend. Whose name was Jonadad. Whose name was Jonadad. Watch this. The son of Shimei. David's brother. Go ahead. And Jonadab was a very subtle man. Very subtle man. So this guy, Jonadab, I mean, he was slick and cunning. So he gave Amnon counsel on how to get what he should not have gotten, which is, he, he, raped, he basically raped her. Yep. But he counseled him in a way where it... And it, it, it furthered his lust more. He influenced Rather than saying, brother, that's Russia's your sister. Yep. Leave her alone. He says, this guy, John Dab, is like, nah, man, see what you do is you, he gave him counsel. He did, he did a, uh, he's basically an Israelite Balaam. Mm. Gave him counsel. So you had Balaam's around in a Kanai circle also. Yep. There you go. Balaam's mm. around. You had yep. Jonadab's around. Men who are very, they still, even to this day, they're on the Facebook, they're very subtle, Articulate. very slick, eloquent in speech. Mm -hmm. One more on um, Romans, uh, I think it's Romans 16. Romans 16. Remember, I remember, hey, hey, Deacon Aitan, uh, uh, Deacon Yausa, remember when we went to Austin, how yeah. the brother, what is his name, uh, Jamal, how Jamal cooked this brother's head. This yeah. brother was in his, his <laughs> house for like eight hours straight. They know eight hours. They were, they, they was, it was 15 hours. hours. He cooked their brain. 15 hours. He cooked their brain with garbage. And guess what? Now some of them are talking about, yes. oh, he's the devil. Some of them is in Facebook right now and said, oh, yeah, he tricked us and to make us believe, uh-uh, yes. Levi UIC. Now he's the devil. Yeah? Hey, yes. hey, we told you. Who's the devil? They said Jamal is the devil. Oh. Some of them is saying right now, some of them who left with him oh. say he's the devil. Wow. It's Romans 16, verse 17, 18. Romans chapter 16, verse 17. 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, Mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned. I said the, the divisions goes back to those informants in Islam. Those informants, the envies, that's the divisions. Because there was there was a division between Elijah and Malcolm. And, well, in that, in that context, in that circle. Go ahead. And avoid them. Go ahead. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ. Watch this. But their own belly. Their own desire, their own lust. Go ahead, watch this. And by good words. Good words. And fierce speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. So it's possible, right. Mm. So it's possible for someone to deceive the simple. 
clear with the key part is deceive the simple. Because those who have understanding are not going to fall for that. But Amnon was simple, and he fell for that good speech. Same thing. What's going on? You know, it's the same exact thing. <laughs> All right? Y'all crazy, man. Uh, you know, he, got, he got Laba next to him. So uh, Laba? <laughs> hey, Laba, is that, is that Krima? Yes, that's that, Krima. That and they have no taste, so Bishop is looking at it. <laughs> so I said, let me taste it first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. There's a, uh, there's a clip. Uh, Start at 120. Mm. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know that my, like, I, my body was made for a filter. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I ain't catching none, but it's a filter. Come body. on, y'all. Oh, bro. Come on, y'all. Go ahead. Sound. Back it up. You just shut your mouth and stay out of it. Then you gotta go back. Yeah, go, you gotta go, go back, back. Over, like 20 seconds. And if we dealt with him like a nation deals right. with a traitor, go back, go back, go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. It's off the beginning. It's short. Just stop. It's only two kids. minutes. Go ahead. But neither are you. But if somebody attack what you love, each one of you in here would become a killer instantaneously. Am I lying? No. Mother let somebody look like they're attacking your child. Here's a woman who fought a bear because the bear snatched her baby. And she ran the bear down screaming until the bear dropped her baby. Love casts out fear. We don't give a damn about no white man law when you attack what we love. And frankly, it ain't none of your business. What have you got to say about it? Did you teach Malcolm? Did you make Malcolm? Did you clean up Malcolm? Did you put Malcolm out before the world? Was Malcolm your traitor or was he ours? And if we dealt with him like a nation deals with a traitor, what the hell business is it of yours? That was it. Okay. Wow. I totally disagree. You disagree with what? My comments are not a traitor. I'm going to explain why I said that. Okay. When Malcolm made that a statement, yes, like I said earlier, Malcolm made a mistake based on he didn't follow the order. I understand that. Malcolm made a mistake based on when he started talking against his elders. However, I did not know until the documentary come out because they make you believe, before that documentary, they make you believe Malcolm, Malcolm betrayed the nation of Islam and left. That's not what happened. They put him out because of the statement he make about the white man that's passed away. JFK. And he wanted to come back. He wanted to come back because that put him out there said, you suspended for 90 days. Now, the other leaders start getting in Elijah Muhammad is actually kick Malcolm out. Mm -hmm. when, Malcolm, when Malcolm X found out they kick him out, that's when he start doing his own thing. But they make you believe he betrayed him, he betrayed them by left, by himself. No, they put him out because he made that a statement. That's why I disagree when he said, oh, uh, that's how we did as a traitor. Uh, uh, in other words, he's saying that he betrayed us, that's why we kill him. That's what he's saying. Mm. There's a scripture. Hey, at Captain Amazak, can y'all get, I want everyone to pay attention to this scripture. Uh, Sirach 28, start at 13. Because this is what y'all was saying. You made the, the correlation, Deacon, I thought, with the guy Wormtongue from Lord yeah. of the Rings. Mm -hmm. And we all saw the guys behind the scenes mm -hmm. who were in Elijah Muhammad's ears. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Sirach chapter 28, verse 13. Curse the whisperer and double-tongued, for such have destroyed many that were at peace. So let's start there. Elijah Muhammad and Malcolm, they were at peace. Yes. Although he was suspended for 90 days, uh -huh. 
Elijah Muhammad did love Malcolm X and vice versa. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. A backbiting tongue had disquieted many. These are the men that was in Elijah Muhammad's ears behind, out of envy and jealousy. And, jealousy. Mm-hmm. That's and, nice. and driven them from nation to nation. Strong cities had it pulled down and overthrown the houses of great men. And overthrown and. the houses of great men. So we've seen it in the past. The scriptures reveal it to us and we must take hold of it today. Now, these dudes that left us, they try to compare themselves yeah. to Malcolm X. No, no, no. no, no. Yeah, hell no. no, no. Yeah, he damn sure did. Oh, so hell no. <laughs> the, hell the work, no. when Malcolm left the nation, his work, the great yes, work he was yes. continuing Continue. and, and they, was even more. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, why yeah. they'd be, I was quick to kill him. Yes. Because they say, listen, because you know what's so funny, Bishop? The FBI actually thought if they if they convince, if uh, the nation of Islam put them out, that was it for him. Right. But they, they, that's why they they're mistaken. Mm-hmm. After they put them out, they, they, the FBI will be like, oh, shit. he's become he's be, he become more powerful. Yes. Watch this. During his during his oust, his ninety days, the FBI came by yes, and was yes. trying to get him to say things against Elijah Muhammad. Elijah yes. Elijah, the whole yes. movement. Yes. Right. And he says, no. you got to be, uh, I'm paraphrasing, you got to be out of your mind if you think that I would give you anything Yep. Mm. Right. Right. to go against any group Yes. that's for black people. As a matter of fact, that's when he, uh, Dick and I So thought, these, these no, they, did, they didn't think that way. No, that's my point. no they didn't so think that th- way. What the hell are they talking about no. that we're, they trying to put themselves in the posture of Brother Malcolm. And if they were in the posture of Malcolm, they would have done greater. When they exactly. Never had exactly. If you were Malcolm, you should, I would say, don't be a hater. He's do greater. When the enemy came to them, what did they do? They said we were a hate group. Yep. They took the They didn't do purse. what Malcolm did. No, they didn't do what Malcolm did. And and when when these FBI come to Malcolm to say something bad, Malcolm has actually admitted. He said, listen, I deserve yes, the 90 days. Mm-hmm. The 90 exactly. days. Exactly. Because he did tell me not exactly. to say nothing. Exactly. Exactly. So he admitted, hey, listen, I disobey order. And when you disobey order, that's what happened. Mm-hmm. We have that here if you want to. If you, you, no, get a cap. Hey, what's every part too, when it come down to um, uh, somebody saying he being bitter. Yes, that's it. Right? In the midst of him being bitter, remember, uh, um, Muhammad's son came to him and told him all them things mm-hmm. that his father was doing with yep. them young girls. Exactly. Right. And having exactly. all them kicking. He didn't right. know about it. Right. His son came and yep. delivered the message to exactly. him about what his father was doing right. by having sex with all them young girls, right. them young secretaries that uh, mm-hmm. was in there with mm-hmm. him. So he could have been working with them too because he bring that information to Malcolm. That's how Malcolm oh. knew about it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, he told. He said that. If y'all want to hear that recording, we have it if y'all want to. How long play is it? it? Um, how long is it? About four minutes? Nah, we don't have, no, four, we don't have no four minutes, man. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> so you can look at it on your own. We have hey, we got call. a phone call. All right, Shalom Caller. What's your name, question, or comment? Shalom, leadership. This is Prince David. How's everybody? Bishop? Hey, hey, shalom, hey shalom, 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 shalom. Christ bless. Shalom, shalom. Most high and Christ bless. Yeah, the subject is so interesting. Hold on. Okay. The subject was so interesting, I felt like I had to come on. For those who don't know, I am definitely inside of the Austin camp. And we've had a lot of things going on this past year. And being that in the center of it, he was talking, I'm sorry. Being in the center of it all, you know, for those who don't know, Bez, Bez was living with me at the time. Who was uh, living with a you? A lot of stuff was going on. So, and so uh, who, who and, was living also, with you? I'm sorry, who was living with you? We Bez, didn't. Bez. Markel. Oh, okay. Markel, this yeah. snake. Yeah, Bezalel was mm-hmm. living with me at the time. Mm. And uh, also, the mirror was actually on my CD as well. So what I wanted to comment on was something that goes on that has been, uh, uh, why is my thing talking? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, my while the computer's talking. Okay. Uh, friends and the truth. Is what comes to mind. I hear the scriptures, you know, Jeremiah 17, 4 and 5 come out. And and when we listen to our friends, sometimes we can get thrown off. You know, a lot of us was in the epicenter of what happened here in IUIC. And with me, I chose the truth. Because here, when I came into IUIC, it opened up a whole world for me that I never knew existed. And now we're talking about Malcolm X. See, mm-hmm. I'm one of the older brothers. I grew up knowing all about Malcolm and 
there was a, a, a Muslim community right down the street from my house when he died, and they were all conversion there. And I was like, what's going on here? You know, Malcolm died. You know what I mean? All this stuff was happening around me. And I had my thoughts about Malcolm. Somebody called up about what the Muslim uh, community had done for them. It certainly had woke me up. Did I agree with some of the things that they were teaching? No. But did I agree with rising up the black man and having him become his own business and having him, you know, stand up with, with a certain amount of, of uh, prestige with himself? Of course I did. He opened up something around me and a lot of young fellas around that never existed before. Even like when James Brown came on and said, I'm black and I'm proud. That was never said before. So when he did that, it was another lifting up of me and a lot of brothers that came up during that era. And here we are now. And I'm seeing these powerful men like the bishop and elder and, and the deacons and, and captains. I never knew this many powerful men were around until this thing opened up. So when it opened up, I, I felt myself proud to be in an area, proud to be amongst some men that was raising the consciousness of brothers and sisters and coming to the point, the biggest point here is coming to the truth that I never knew existed. I never knew that we were actually the children of God. That zealous attitude that I had when my friend Gene Lake called me up and said, you, you read Deuteronomy 28? And I said, yeah, I read it. He said, what did you get? I said, uh, I don't know. He said, let's read it together. And then when we read it, he brought open the, uh, the precept upon precept, which I never knew before. All of a sudden, I know it now. What am I getting at? The truth versus somebody who went against us as a friend. Mm. And a lot of people here followed friends instead of following what was most important, waking mm. up the children of Israel and coming to the point where we can get up out of here. Mm. Not going against us. So when I hear these things about COINTELPRO, and I hear these things about, you know, uh, about what we saw go down, all these men that you mentioned, they were all right here. Every single one of them in my house. Mm -hmm. Nashalaki and Judah Mack, every single one of them sojourned here many, many times, right here in my house because I had the studio. Bez had his studio huh. here. You know, they were living with me. So, and, and you know, Bez was, you know, as, as far as we thought, was a very important man in our UIC. You can go back to all the old videos. We see him. We look up to him, right? All of a sudden, this thing happened. How can we look up? A lot of us look down because it was hurting us as a people. We have to realize that there's something out here that we have to really, really pay attention to. We have friendship. Yes, we, go, we got friends in our own family. Well, are we going to follow them? What road are we following them if we say, oh, you know, they didn't catch it? Uh, no, they don't catch it. I remember when Bishop uh, called Bishop up. Uh, Bishop, you remember when I called you up? He said, you know what? Whatever's going on down there, you make the choice. I'm like, huh, huh? Yeah, you make your own choice. And I'm like, wow, you ain't got no words. You make your own choice. You want to stay? Stay. You want to leave? Leave. And that brought the reality of, you know what? Friends don't mean a hill of beans. What means, what's more important is Christ being the head and this truth that we are trying to raise up our people and stay the course, holding the line. Forget the friendship. What's hmm. more important? The kingdom. The kingdom. Oh, please. The most important thing. Thank so you. I just kind of felt like I felt like I had to come on and at least thank clear you. the Thank clear you, the thank air you, Brother David. You know what I mean? I had to do this. Thank yes, you. Sir. All praises. Thank you. All praises. All praises. Right. Can I read the scripture? Yes. Uh, uh, Sirach 25 and 1. Hey, what time it is? Hold on. Hold on. Just be quick. Yeah. Okay, what time you got? Oh, my, my oh we, got, we got 20 minutes. All right, good. Okay, we got 20 minutes. Let me be quick. Sirach 25 and verse 1. In three things I was beautified and stood up beautiful both before God and men. The unity of brethren. Unity of brethren, meaning that you have to subscribe to the tenets of the Bible. You had to be unified in, in, in a particular understanding. That's where your friendship comes in. Our friendship is not based on just, I love you, you love me. No, yes. our friendship is based on mm -hmm. our adherence to the Bible. That's yes, what our friendship is based on. If any of us go off from this here, the friendship is gone. That's right. it. Me and Bishop can tell you, we've had friends going all the way back to the 90s, early 90s.
Lots of people. I mean, that's close like y'all are close with us. But when they go diff- different from here, Sonic we don't know you no more. It's time to cut you them understand? off. You understand? So that's going to the point that uh, the brother was make, uh, David was making. So read that again. I'm going to be I'm gonna lean back. In three things, I was beautified and stood up both beautiful, both before God and men. The unity of brethren. The organization of brothers. The organizing of brethren. That's what it's talking about. When we all think the same. When we all have one body, one judgment. This thing that we just read earlier in Romans Mm -hmm. or Corinthians. Well, we didn't read it. But that be in the same mind and the same Same judgment. judgment. That's what this is talking about. Read. The love of neighbors. The love of neighbors. To be able to correct each other. That's what the love is talking about. Ain't hugs and kisses. Go ahead. A man and a wife that agree together. And the family where the husband and the wife agree together. This is this is what real friendship and unity is all about. If we are not rolling in this, there's no such thing as friendship. So if you're in my house and you go off from this here, you got to get the hell out. You got Absolutely. to go. Yes, you in this if you in this congregation and you thinking this way, you got to get the hell out. That's how we roll it. That's, right. that's how the most high is rolling. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hey, you know. When you go, let's go back to uh, Malcolm X, right? Uh, you the, know, I didn't know the people burned down Moss Number Seven after Malcolm was. Oh burned. yes, yes, 25. yes, yes. Yeah. Moss oh, Twenty Five. Oh, it's Twenty Five. Oh, it's Twenty Five. Yeah, got burned in, in down? Newark. Yeah. Oh. Okay. In Newark. Yeah. Okay. So, when you, uh, what is this? Get on. Talking about who? JFK. JFK. That statement he made about JFK. How long is it? Uh, three minutes. No, that's too long. So we talk. <laughs> so we was mentioning. Uh, you can I turn? Go back to to you. Okay. We was talking about how he admitted that he should have followed the order. Yes, he did. And the reason I want to go back to that is because it's very important. Because order is very important. Yes. To raise, you cannot raise a nation with that order. Mm-hmm. Order is very important. Uh, it's the same thing today. When bishop give an order, we have to follow the order. Right. What that, you know, the funny thing is, a lot of these brothers they've been <clears throat> in some military. Mm-hmm. Right. When 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 they if they give you an order, you don't do it. They're court martial. Am I right? Yes, yeah. sir. You get court martial, and if you get court martial for guilt, you're going to jail just for disobeying an order. Right. So we, I just want to put it out there where. People don't think that we said, oh, Malcolm X was right for, for disobey the order. No, he was wrong. Right, may I elaborate on what you're saying? Yes, go ahead. Um, remember, um, it was, like you said, it was Elijah Muhammad's meeting. Mm-hmm. And he told Malcolm, you can go, because he begged him. Right. And he go. He said, you can go. But he knew Malcolm. He said, don't right. say he knew his anything. He knew his weakness. Disrespectful, because right. he knew, because remember that thing that happened when his man got killed. Right. Um, uh, Ron, in, Ronald in, Stokes, in, in, in Ronald LA. Stokes in, uh, in LA, LA. Right. right? And Malcolm wanted to do something physical. He said, "We gotta make an example." They right. killed that brother. And nope. when he came back, Deacon, so you can know, when he came back from that, when he made the speech, you, you can see, see that he was conflicting. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he yes, was yes, saying, yes, "You know, yes. a lot of y'all wanted to do something, right?" But you he was told to be cool, calm, collective. He right. wasn't really feeling that. Right. No, but right. Elijah right. Muhammad knew that. He said, "Okay, yeah. that's his weakness." But that right, right? So Elijah saw that. So then he says, "Malcolm, you can do it. Do not say anything." So then as he's leaving, the guy goes, one more question. That's oh, the devil. That, one more question. That was the point. <laughs> How do you feel? And then, then the guy said that was the longest five-minute pause he had ever seen. That was the Malcolm point was I was bringing there. up. He was thinking about it. He was like, he said, I'm on. <sighs> he just, he, he, he's he emotions. Said, yep. he, just, he, just he said, I'm going to get out. them emotions. Come on and That was it. Yep. So, so my point is, is that um, um, Malcolm understood and recognized his wrong. He was right in what he said because that's my point. Mm-hmm. Um, Kennedy defended us. After we start defending ourselves, because when when MLK was coming around, we were getting pie thrown in our face, dogs beat with night sticks, mm-hmm. and Kennedy was quiet. Then Malcolm said, "You gotta fight back." We started fighting back. Then Kennedy starts saying, "Okay, yeah, let's help the black because mm-hmm. black people start tired of getting beat up on." So Malcolm saw that. So this guy's full of BS. Now he wants to say something because we're defending ourselves. So Malcolm, what Malcolm said about Jeb Kennedy. In that regard, was right, mm-hmm. no but it was the it. wrong time, time because he was told not to. Yes, which goes back to following orders. And order is what keeps unity established. Established, yes. And he knew that, and Malcolm knew that's why the FBI came to his house when he was suspended. He said, "I know I was wrong. 
I understand why. I'm not, you know, I, and he said, I'm not going to, he said, you have to be a fool. You're insulting your intelligence and mine to think that you can come here and, and get information out of me against any black organization. That's what he said. They tried to work, even when they came and visited him, they was trying to pull on his emotional strings right. again. And, he said, it's almost unhuman right. for you to be suspended and still defend these people. That's if you listen to that, that was right. in the dialogue. Right. Yes, sir. But his, and, and he didn't fall for it. Here's the thing. What the FBI did with Malcolm, they failed. But when they did it with Mark Carroll and friends, they oh, were successful. Oh, there you yes. go, right there. They were successful because they were disgruntled. Remember, he said, remember the guy told Malcolm, right. oh, we've had a few people who were disgruntled right. uh, ex-members of the organization had some things to say about the organization. And Malcolm was quiet, like, okay, what did that to do with me? Mm-hmm. So they figured, well, this is the time to strike. He's, he's angry, he's right. suspended, exactly. he can't teach anymore. They, figured, they, they were thinking he was being glorious. Right. But he wasn't. Mm-mm. He wasn't, but the men around Elijah Muhammad were, were telling him he's been glorious. He wants to be your. Uh, he was. He's and then, uh, on the media. They put he's second to um Elijah. He right. said, "I'm not second to Elijah." Right, right. But the media was feeding that, yes, throwing it out there. That, right. That's the the witchcraft. The media, yeah. yeah. Trying he to wants, give him an second, ego. He's second, right? But Malcolm right. was saying, "Listen, I give all honor to a voice. He's saying, I give all honor to Elijah Muhammad. He's my teacher. I'm not his second. But Esau was playing that." It's just, like he, it's just like the garden with Adam and Eve. Yes. He played them to each other. Played, so, hey, you know what's so funny what you said? Marco, that little snake, uh uh-uh, uh, they call him uh 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 the weasel leel. Mm-hmm. You remember in, in one breath he said he 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 he, mm-hmm. he saw us take people out of uh uh change lives. Uh, change lives, change people's lives, get get them out of drugs, uh uh finding job for them. And then the second breath he said, they hit go. That was a script. They said, read that. Yes, yeah. read that. Tell them that. <laughs> good, good job. Here's your check. <laughs> Little snake. Damn. But I had a question. Perfect storm, right? All things considered. The brother who did a documentary, mm-hmm. he had he admits on the documentary he has no, uh, no background or experience right. in terms of law enforcement mm-hmm. or uh, any anything along that nature. But... He was able to find and interview mm-hmm. people affiliated with the FBI and the police department files. and get files opened that yes. have been sealed for decades. Right, right. Oh, so wait strange. a minute. You're talking about the blood that do the documentary? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I just, to me, it just sounds yeah, that, yeah, that's strange. It's just very strange. strange. It's very strange. The guy- Actually, I found out it was his sister who was behind it, the documentary. Oh, so he, maybe he had researchers. The, the guy, the guy, as I'm saying, the guy himself. I forgot his name. He's a Pulitzer, Pl- Pulitzer Prize winner. He's a historian. He had under the something uh, of information, freedom of, freedom FOI, of information, Freedom of Information Act. He was able to gain access to those files and so forth. But like the bishop was saying, it's kind of odd how how he's able to just these things just fall in your lap. I know. And no now at this time period, when the guy who's right. guilty of the murder he died, he he's just happened dead. to not be dead now. Right. Now the information comes out. Farrakhan's also uh, about to step down. Yep. From being mm-hmm. head over in. Mm-hmm. It just seems very. Right very before, there's yeah. something in the water. Right before, we don't believe. We don't believe in coincidence. Yeah. Yeah. Right before no. talking to the guy that allegedly killed Malcolm, he dies the same day he's supposed to talk to him. And yep. then the wife, the widow, denied any comments. Mm-hmm. And he, they, 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 they maintained that the guy who's um, William Bradley. He maintained his innocence and maintained his innocence of the crime. And also, if I may, Bishop, also in Islam, one of the things that was very disturbing to me in that, in that video is that they said that um, everyone knew he did it and, uh, and that they say he bragged about it as well and that he, he did his own, he did a hajj. And when you do a hajj correctly, properly, all the evil you've done is washed away. You're born again. Right, right, so, right. And he, so he, the guy was saying it's weird now because... If if you try to fault him for the even if he did kill even if he did which you know he did kill Malcolm in the eyes of Islam he's innocent because he went did his Hajj so all that's washed that's water under the bridge now. It's not like Christianity, right? <laughs> right, right, right. So that's the thing I found very disturbing about. Everyone knew he did it before he did the Hajj and said nothing. Now he does the right, Hajj. Right, oh, right, let's, right, let's right, forgive right. him now. He's forgiven. Allah forgives him. It's madness. I I madness. truly believe. That guy was an FBI agent. That's the guy who came that's out, come, that's why he was able, that's why yeah, was, he was the protected. The send off. Yes. So the guy said it. The guy said, yes. yo, man, leave it alone. He's protected by the state. Yes. Leave it alone. Yeah. That's why he leave was protected. Yeah. Because how the hell, the guy is doing commercial for the mayor, the lieutenant governor come to his damn funeral. I don't know, what the hell is this? How in the world is a mosque going to get burned up and most people don't know about it? 
Mm-hmm. That made no sense. Mm-hmm. So I truly believe he was protected by the FBI. He was an agent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, no, they're probably the one who was he sent him to kill him. Hey, 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 no, the bishop was right. His mom's number seven got firebombed in 65. Okay. That's what I heard. I heard it was yeah. the seven. one around the corner. Yeah. yeah. He got firebombed. Right, and Elijah Muhammad had all kinds of police around him. He said, yeah. you, you go ahead and try it. He had police security all around his house. Yeah, that was, it was a, heck, that was a crazy time. Crazy situation the um when i was when you watch the documentary the the first one that mark uh spike lee did and said when malcolm went to mecca he saw all types of muslims white mm-hmm. blue eyes green eyes and all mm-hmm. that all goes back to the history from the time of the Ptolemies as they began the, uh, and seleucid the greeks i'll just say it generic mm-hmm. like that when the greeks began to conquer the Arabs and take that, uh-huh. take them down. They've had children mm-hmm. by many of those Arabs, and a lot of those children are nothing but Greco Roman babies okay, right. yeah. mm-hmm. who grow up as Muslims today mm-hmm. and think that they're Arabs, but in reality, they're Edomites, mm-hmm. uh, if, uh, the ones at the top. Yeah. You see, no pigment in their skin, blue eyes, blonde hair. Right. So Malcolm saw that and says, Oh, look, Islam accepts everything. All that was a farce, yep. and it was used to manipulate him. Okay, and they said we got to take the the government said this we got to take this guy out because he's gonna come back here hook. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. When he hooked up with Martin, remember Sam Cook was gonna fund fund the two of them together, right? To try and and be, uh, unite black people, right? All across the world. And he's, he he ended up dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah Sam yeah, Cook yeah, got yeah, killed. Yeah, 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 yes sir. Dang, that's what sir. I was about to say. He, he ended up dead, right? Yeah. He ended up dead. They had a documentary yeah. on that too yeah. on Netflix. Yeah, by him. the two yeah. what the two killings of Sam Cook, something like that. Right, right, right. right. Oh, he was murdered also. Yes, yes. he was. Because yeah. he was, was trying murdered. to organize the black singers and all of that. I, I've yeah. heard that all the black leaders that Malcolm was trying to get in contact with were all killed around the same time, like shortly after. It was on um. I forgot, um, they had other, like, yeah. I, it was commentaries after the documentary of, of other brothers, Muslims right. from the streets around who, who got word that all the connections that Mako was trying to ke- get, um, they all got, like, mysteriously got killed, thrown out the window, disappeared, all kind of stuff. So they were trying to erase Malcolm's um, mission entirely, just erase everything, mm. you know? Anyone, anyone who had any type of inspiration from him, take him out. He saw the devil. That's why. Yeah. That's why was information coming out now. They don't care. No, MLK, because, we killed him. Right. Yes, he's dead. Exactly. Malcolm, we killed him. Okay, yeah, we did. So what? They don't care because yeah. they rule. Let's talk about that. Micah is in the power of their hand. Mm-hmm. They don't give a damn what they do. And you know what's even more sinister about it now that it, that he's dead? They have taken the they have taken the uh, the story of these men's men and women's lives and repackaged it. Right. They they, they just changed the whole. They changed the real dynamics of of what they were about. And they give it to us as painkillers. In other words, they allow they will allow you to have a street named Malcolm X, Rosa Parks this, Medgar Evers that. It, but just, they don't give you the real information behind right, it. But it's right, just right. enough to say that these people care about us. In Newark, there's a Malcolm X school, and oh. a school named after Malcolm X too. Yes, there is yeah. in Newark. Yes, and, Med- and Medgar it's, Evers, uh, Evers, a violent school. Uh, yeah, yeah, a violent. Right. Yes, yeah. a violent school. Well, imagine yes, that you you walk around, your parents walk around knowing that who the guy was that killed Malcolm, and you the school named after him. That's insane. And your kids man. go to that school. In go to that the same, same school, school <laughs> Deacon's Bishop. In that same school. The students beat up the gym teacher. Mm, right, oh, right, right, was on right, film. right, right. The basketball coach. Right, they beat him up, and they named the school after Malcolm X. The <laughs> worst neighborhoods, they name him Malcolm X, or Martin, Martin Luther King. King. Right, right, wow. right, right. right. Wow. But Israel, uh, what time it is? But what we, what, what the show, the sh- what we try to bring to your remembrance, just like Paul was doing in Acts chapter twenty, we try to show you the collision between. Did I say it right? I don't know. Correlation. 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 Oh. The correlation between what, hap- what the nation of Islam did to Malcolm and what happened in IUIC. And you might say, oh, they don't have no... Yeah, they do have a connection. Because, I, like I said, me, I don't look at nothing about... Co- I, I don't believe in coincidence. Mm-hmm. Since I've been in the truth, there's no coincidence with Mosai. You know why I don't believe in coincidence? Because the scripture said, uh, 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 the heart of man is in God's hand. He turns it as he pleases. Mm-hmm. And he's also said, God created good, he created evil. Mm-hmm. So I don't believe in coincidence. When you see these things coming out, God is trying to teach us something. Hey, look at what just happened, and look at Michael Mexico documentary. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Uh, 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 you see how your guys went to Nigeria. Mm-hmm. Nigeria is under uh, British, the British. British. Yes. You notice your guys start doing interview. Uh, you meet... Uh, 
uh, when you got the press, you do the press conference. Mm. Why were you in Nigeria? What they what they do? They release that tape again. BBC, yeah. Oh, the BBC, BBC oh, release yeah, that crap yeah, again. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Again. So it's all try, they all trying to shut us up. Mm -hmm. They all trying to bring division. And I, I, listen, <laughs> I find it so crazy how the top guy, fifty percent in Nation of Wisdom was Asian. That's unbelievable. Mm. You would never believe that. So now you got IUIC. The, the place we're going, the thing we're doing. You, your brothers and sisters actually believe there's no agent? You're crazy. Mm -hmm. You're crazy if you think. Hey, you watch might be a damn agent. Yeah. You don't even know. The, uh, the, the, mm, I won't even say it. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, Cap, anything else? Uh, uh, anything we forgot about that uh, in the documentary? I, I believe they, Why they, we cover? they reopened the case on Malcolm X too. Yes. yes. Yeah, they reopened mm -hmm. that case uh, recently. You know, so I guess they're gonna. I, I don't know what what's gonna come out of that. You know, what do you want to do? So Dave? now that we open it, uh, Farrakhan's about to step down, huh? Yeah, yeah right. about well, to step down. That's a coincidence, also. Yeah, I guess yeah. That, uh, coincidence. In the midst of them reopening that case, Farrakhan is stepping right. down. Who knows? That Nikan, what are we missing in that? Uh, matter, matter of fact, I know there's something we're missing in that documentary. The dude got the the the. The alleged killer, or the killer, he died as he was about to be interviewed by the yep. by right. the guy. And, so and when the they other, found him, he died. And the other four reportedly are deceased. The other four murders, those five. Reportedly. The other four are also reportedly deceased. No, if you include Thomas wow. Hare. Yeah. Well, other three. Well, the, the other three. Because one, 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 one is was yeah, in Thomas jail. Thomas Hare is in jail, so the other three are reported, reportedly dead. Oh, what is this? Uh, What's this? Oh, that's the article on the, <coughs> the, 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 the killer, the alleged assassin. We, we, yeah, I mean, we could probably read that real quick. You want to read a little bit of it real quick? No sugar, man. Yeah. What is we missing in the documentary, Cap? We don't know if we might forget. Think we think anything anything else we missing in that documentary might forget to go over? Uh, mm, well, no, not. I mean, I did have something, but it doesn't oh. kind of tie into... Um, I was just thinking about the the frust the frustration of of and the paranoia that came that came over Malcolm in the last days of his life um, when you began to realize um, things are not going the way you expected them to go and you began to see because like we was talking about the time that he was ousted and he was hoping to get back. Mm -hmm. Then he realized that there were other internal forces of envy and those kinds of After things that, that right and the Ali thing that really pushed him out, right. and that's when he really felt it. I remember he made one point that was it was used and the the point was made in the Spike Lee's film mm -hmm. when he sat he was by the window and he said that it was it's a terrible thing that such a group like this come to something. You remember that? Mm -hmm. We point. We there was a statement that he said that it's the it's terrible that uh, um, that a that a group that can do so much for the people is actually going in this direction, and he felt so bad about it. He felt terrible about it because he really saw that as a way of really helping his people. Malcolm was about his people. That's the point I'm making. And when he <laughs> saw that 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 the um, that the tide didn't go that direction. It really, really bothered him. It really it, it, brought on his whole demeanor began to change. Like you say, he lost weight. You know, he looked tattered. They say he tattered. tattered and all of that. Mm -hmm. You can see that. And yes, and um, um, you know, some somewhat of that happened during the time of '95. Making the comparisons, um, when we had the issue back at One West, when the split went down, a lot of brothers went back into the world. Mm -hmm. because of a lot of this stuff that was going on there. So it really messed, those kinds of things really mess with people mm -hmm. deeply. And yes. we don't really uh, expound, expound on, those kinds, on those kinds of psychological um, um, traumas that come when you, when you put your whole heart into something and you say, you know what, you, you know, I was, I was in a wretched condition. I came in, I got reformed, cleaned up, and then you, re you really think this is the pure answer to everything. And then you see things because of internal strife, envy and stuff, and it begins to, to really seep in and destroy things. It really messes a lot of, a lot of people up, so.
Uh, yeah, I think the so way. I, I make that comparison to the '95 thing. We knew a lot of brothers that uh, that went back into the world mm. because of things like that. Yeah, you know? and yeah, I think the way Mike come um, when he first come in, the way he he view uh, Islam was like uh, you said. He looking at it like is a way that that can build our people. But I think a lot of things was hiding from him. You know, the characters of these men was hiding from Malcolm. You understand? Like a lot of things he didn't know. Mm. You understand? It's like you put your life to something that you don't know the whole story behind it. Mm. So when when the story coming, now you feel hurt. Mm. You understand? Because that's not what you were standing for. You're willing to give it all you got. I think that's what Malcolm faced. Right. You understand that he faced at the end of his life. He's saying that, yeah, he would have given his life for these people. Then look what they become. You understand? They become his enemy. Right. You understand? You, you know the young man, that the one that's still alive, that uh, he actually, the one that's confessed to killing Malcolm. Thomas, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He actually said what you said. He said he realized everything they was telling him about Malcolm was a bunch of lies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, he said he regretted it. He, he, he agreed. He agreed to take part of that because right. all, everything they was telling him was a bunch of lies. Mm -hmm. And he didn't realize that until it was too late. He had to kill him. And also, you have to factor in the, the organizations that were involved. Um, Edom, particularly, you had... Uh, um, boss, and you had FBI, and remember you mentioned earlier Darthard Perry. He meant, um, you had Cointel Pro, but before them you had a group called Black Desk. There yeah, was a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Black to so all these organizations. I keep them in mind because they're all around today, just under different names. Yep. Right. Okay, SPOC is one of them. We're gonna, gonna put it out there flat out. That's SPOC is definitely in some way, form or fashion, one part of associated with them, if not them. Um, Black Desk, um, FBI, CIA, KGB, whatever, they're all, well, these alphabet organizations are definitely involved in um, assessing us. Um, even we, and they black, black, um, we call it black, ball, not black, blacklist. Um, blacklist, blacklist us, blacklist. you know, media blackouts. All these things is done by these organizations, all they're all orchestrated, you know? So it's, and it's, it's, a, it's a lot more, it's, but under Malcolm's time, it was more open, it was more blatant. Yes. Now it's more covert. Yes, because technology, you know, right? Yeah, technology is, is advanced. And you know, what's right. so funny what you said, Deacon. The way technology is today, <laughs> Esau don't have to use the same amount of agent they used back then. Right, yep. don't have to. Sure. Right, right. Because sure. keep in mind, fifty percent nation of Islam was agent. That's a lot. That's a lot. And some of them didn't. Some of them was in there. They didn't even know each other was agent. Yeah. That's right, the craziest right, thing is. Right. Like Gene, what's that guy named Gene? Gene, the, um, this Gene Russian. Roberts? They didn't yeah, know about him. They didn't know anything. Yeah. We didn't know he was one of them. We didn't know. They had, he, then he even said, they don't want him to know each other. They, they, no. He even said, he even said, I thought I was all alone. You know? Yeah. So even today, the way technology is, that's why we, we tell these brothers and sisters, some of these agents, because you know, again, like I said earlier, one thing that I can say about Israelite school, we teach against violence. We teach, do not pick up no guns, do not pick up no knives. This is not a, this is not a physical fight, this is spiritual. Right. We say to stay in the scriptures. Right. Stay in the scripture. Go ahead, Deacon Aitan. I want to read a scripture. This, is, this goes, out, goes out to the informants that are amongst us, whether in this room or online or wherever you are, this goes to you. The Second Timothy 2 and 25, because a lot of, a lot, a lot of informants, some are a few, will eventually come to realize that this movement, this truth is real, that yep. this movement is real. Some are coming in because they're getting paid, it's a paycheck, they're taking a family. So they look at it as business, they don't care if it's true or, or false. But you're gonna have some, like you did with Malcolm, who are gonna have, not belief in the, in the truth, but more so belief in the men pushing it. Pushing it, I'm yeah. glad you're saying you understand? It. So this goes out to them, so it doesn't seem as if we're just saying they're gonna, most of us are gonna judge them and destroy them, because they might come around. So this goes out to you. 2 Timothy 2, verse 24, regarding you mentioned about strife. 24. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 24. And the servant of the Lord must not strive. That goes back to being violent, physical violence, and so forth, yeah. weapons. Go ahead. But be gentle unto all men. Subject to the men serving the people as Christ served the people. Go ahead. Apt to teach. I Meaning your mind must be um, suitable. Your mind, you must be apt as in aptitude. I Meaning you have common sense to teach the people, not be a complete idiot. Teaching the people, like some out here. Go ahead. <laughs> Patient. Patient. Go ahead. In meekness, instruct, instructing those that oppose themselves. In meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. When these sorts sends brothers into to infiltrate black organizations, 
Those men hate themselves. Yep. yep. They right. hate. That's why they can work for the white man and infiltrate and give information and say, yeah, he's doing this. Because they hate themselves. They hate their people, too. They despise them. Right. Which goes back to your people. To yep. your people. Love your neighbor as yourself. That's a traitor. So that's a traitor. Yes, sir. It's them, but there's repentance for them. That's my point. There's repentance for them for if traitor. they choose. Mm-hmm. As we're going to read on. Read again. If... Oh, read in it again. Meekness, yeah. In meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. Watch this. If per- go on, if, if, go ahead. If God peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. To the acknowledging of the truth that they're infiltrating or trying to. Next verse. And that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil. Go ahead. Who are taken captive by him. At his will. So that's the point. They have to, they, the Most High will have mercy upon them, regardless of the infiltration, if they acknowledge the truth. And when they acknowledge the truth, they will come out of the snare of the devil. The snare of the devil is FBI, the media, black desk, boss. That's the snare of the devil. Me, all of that. They, you, what, Politics, that's the snare of the devil. Mm-hmm. Money, the paycheck to take care of their family. Oh, I gotta, I, oh, I gotta eat, so I gotta infiltrate. That's the snare of the devil also. Love of money is the snare of the devil. So may they repent, hopefully. Right. I read, because I, I'm glad you said that, uh, Dick, because I wrote down three names. Two of them we talked about a l- little bit. You mentioned Gene Roberts, Roberts, who was an informant right? and all of that. But he ended up giving mouth to mouth to, to Malcolm. And that was the, the point. And hit so much here with right, the chair. Right. So, again, that was one of, that was a situation where he was uh, uh, branching away from the order, as you say, which is dangerous. That the thinking guy was saying, he said that thinking is dangerous. But what was happening, that he was being... Uh, changed a little bit, for yes. lack of a better word, uh, by following, by seeing the de- the dedication of Malcolm. Mm-hmm. The other one we talked about was Dothard Perry, mm-hmm. the one that I mentioned earlier. These guys were so convicted in, in their wickedness that they were doing that they actually came forward and spoke about it mm-hmm. because they realized that they were set up. And the, the other, of- right, and the other one is William O'Neill, yes. who set up Fred Hampton. He actually killed himself yes. because it got right. so bad for him. Because he realized that he was used and they gave him $300, which is basically 30 pieces of silver, like right. to portray Christ. And he felt that. Mm. And out of the nine informants, two that quit. That's right. them also. They that's them that also. also. So, you, you you know, know, so you know. that scripture that you, my point is, that scripture that you read just there, uh, it could be used in that regard if, if, mm-hmm. if the Lord moved their spirit. Right. You know, it's like Bishop said. We all got the the potential, the potential to become Judas Scary. Yes, mm-hmm. And we see that first in the IOIC. Mm-hmm. But the message we want to leave with your brothers and sisters is that this thing is going to happen again and again. That's what Paul was telling you in Acts chapter 20. I keep going to Acts chapter 20 because some of you read it, you don't understand what was going on. Paul's telling you this thing's going to happen again and again and again and again. So now... When this thing happened, the flood come, don't be shocked and say, oh, what just happened? We're telling you this thing. Paul is telling you this thing was going to happen again and again. There's going to be agent. There's going to be this. You're going to see people come change the doctrine. It's going to happen over and over again. So just be mindful. Take heed. Like Laba said earlier, some of you don't take no heed to it. That's why when it comes, you guys ship wise. You guys walk, walk, run around like a little bunch of little girls. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Because you didn't take heed. Uh... Go ahead, Cap. You know what it is too, Dick? Uh, a lot of these men got fearful spirits. Like, um, to me, I think uh, Malcolm X knew that he had informers around him, but he knew the way he was living. You understand? Just like us, we know the way we live. Oh, yeah, we ain't exactly. worried about what they try to take back. They're going to come in here and they're going to learn eventually because we know we walking with Christ and we know we're keeping these laws such a commandment exactly. to the best of our ability. So I think he knew they was around him, but he didn't have nothing to worry about yeah. because he was living his life, you know, yeah, exactly. uh, according to his integrity, him believing in what he was teaching. Yeah, uh, yeah, because that's, that's the statement like the feds made about him. Yeah. Uh, same thing you say, Cap. Let's say he was a, a man of integrity. Mm-hmm. You understand clip, what he say he stand by. There's a clip where he says, uh, hello, so-and-so, hello, uh, informer. Somebody, not informer, so he yeah. says, hello, to your enemies, enemies in here. He yeah. said it. He knew. He knew. Yeah, he just didn't care. You was going to go over this, uh, Malachi? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was just reading the title of it. Um, it says, Malcolm X, alleged assassin hiding in plain sight in Newark meaning New Jersey, 50 years after civil rights leader was killed 
author claims. I'm just curious. I'm just a little uh, fifty years. Yeah, but the, <sighs> but but they said civil rights. You notice they gave him a safer title mm-hmm. because civil rights. Now, but the 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 system, the powers that be, the three letter agencies was implicit in killing him. But they still call him a civil rights leader. That's not the the word civil rights doesn't have the the negative connotation that a quote unquote black separatist uh, label would have. Mm. So they changed it because he's dead now. Mm. You know, so I'm just looking at right. it from that point of view. Mm-hmm. Because hey, I I, I want to bring this again before we close. That's one of the reasons we don't want to get together with these with these groups. <laughs> Because what they're going to they're going to kill us the same way. When they see the money coming in, yes, Negroes is greedy. They're going to get, they're going to, they're going to try to come up to with something to go against us, to kill us. It's the same thing they do with Malcolm. The money that comes in, because you made that point, the money that comes in is for the furtherance of the gospel. If the gospel, if, exactly. them, if their objective is to get it to use it upon themselves, them shouldn't be here in the first place. Exactly. Yep. Go out there and be an entrepreneur out in the world. Don't come in here yeah. looking for that because our, our mission is about putting this gospel out, getting this gospel out to our people. Bishop? Yeah, yeah, yeah we should. Bishop was going to say something. Yeah, great. Uh, I wanted to, uh, Amazon to read Act 1. You keep paraphrasing the Acts 20, 29 to 31 because you've been paraphrasing it mm. all day, yep. but we never read it. Mm. The book of Acts, chapter 20 and verse 29. Read it out. 28. Mm-hmm. Take, heed, take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost have made you overseers. An overseer is leaders. The leaders are the bishops, deacons, captains, officers. Those are overseers. Right? To feed the church of God. Our job is to feed the Israelites. The nation of Israel is the church of God. Right? Which he hath purchased with his own blood. Because he sacrif- Christ sacrificed his life to bring peace between us and the Heavenly Father again. Remember, this is about nation building. We are uh, a destroyed people being resurrected. Remember, Christ, the Messiah, the King of Kings, was crucified and accused of insurrection against Rome. That was his crime. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he was trying to resurrect another nation within a nation. Mm -hmm. And that was his crime. And guess what? This is the same thing. We're on the same mission, the same goal, the same path. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For I know this. That after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Infiltrators, infiltrators, infiltrators. America, just as Rome did, spent billions upon billions of dollars to keep the nation of Israel subdued and, uh, what's the word? Dumbfounded, um, docile, docile, exploited. Uh, marginalized, preyed upon, right. preyed upon. So now we are resurrecting. You don't think they're going to do all that they right. can right. Yes. to come against us? And mm-hmm. one of the main things is infiltration. Mm-hmm. That's what verse 29 is explaining. So mm-hmm. black man and black woman, don't sleep on what's going on. What happened back in the past is happening today. Read that again, verse 29. Verse 29. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Go ahead. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. This is men that will come in and they, they are here, they are money hungry. Mm. They are covetous. They want power. They want money. Mm-hmm. They want position. position. That's go. what they want. And this is what verse 30 is making reference to. Go ahead. Therefore watch and remember that by the space of three years, I ceased not to warn every one night and day with tears. So Paul warned Israel for three years, night and day with tears, that this was going to happen. Damn. And it's so true to this very yes, day. Yep. Three years. Yes, he telling them, this is going to happen. And they didn't believe him. Lord. Damn. Uh, Cap, I think it's that time. Our time is up. All right. All praises, brothers and sisters. Uh, thanks for joining in to an excellent historic uh, Patient Saints Radio, one for the record books. Yes, yes, yes. Please remember, we do have a school here in Riverdale, Georgia, 691 Highway 138 in Riverdale. Come down, come learn your nationality, come get with these brothers, come get with these sisters, come keep these high holy days. All right. Uh, we have donations. If you want to give to the body, you could do so at PayPal at uh, iuic.atlanta at israelunite.org. If you want to donate to the Booster Club to keep the bishop, the, this gospel uh, going on throughout the earth, keep, keep the bishop, the deacons, the captains, the officers 
uh, uh, spreading this glorious gospel of Christ, you could do so via PayPal at iuic.fundraising at israelunite.org. We also have classes three times a day, seven days a week, four absolutely free live That's classes, right. brothers and sisters, at IUIC in the classroom on YouTube and IUIC classrooms on Facebook. Get it deep. Uh, of course, uh, thank you, brothers and sisters. We want to thank the brothers and sisters behind the scene that's make this possible you guys cannot see. Officer Elisha, Officer Kidan, Officer, uh, 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 let me start over here. Officer Kidan, uh, Soldier Dino, Soldier, Officer Elrod, Officer Malachi, Officer Asa, uh, Officer, uh, uh, Yo Johannan, Johannan, Officer, Soldier, Emmanuel. Emmanuel and behind him? Soldier Kenanaya. Soldier Kenanaya. Who am I missing? Soldier Adino. No, I got Soldier Adino. Uh, I got Officer Malakai. And also, our special guest, you cannot see behind the scene, Captain <laughs> Joel, Captain. Uh, uh, Captain Yon. <laughs> Captain Yon. <laughs> Captain Yon. <laughs> Captain Yon. Uh, who's, who's behind you, Kidon? What's your name, bro? What's your name? So Jazz Real, what kept you from? Uh, Where? Alabama. 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 Uh, Brother Zekiah Birmingham. And uh, we also got Officer uh, 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 Joham in the house. Anybody we missing? I think that's it. I'm that's sorry. it. Uh, we want to thank you, thank you, thank you for our special guest today. I want to especially thank Deacon Aitan. He Deacon Aitan never. <laughs> <laughs> Deacon Aitan, man. He was on time too. Yeah, oh, yeah. We oh, were trying. Surprising, surprising. We were trying to get the Gnatan down here forever, man. Always, always. Oh, uh, of course, Laba. You know, Laba -la -la always here anyway. Uh, uh, <laughs> Diken uh, Yausap, thank you, thank you. We've been waiting for Diken Yausap to come down to do this show. Mm -hmm. We've been waiting <laughs> on you. Yes, yes. He take, Bishop, tell him. He think I'm joking. We was waiting on you. We was been waiting on you to do this show. Because <laughs> we said we cannot go over this without... Without you being here, but thank you, thank you for coming, oh, Captain Zeff. Thank, thank you, brother, <laughs> Captain Hananiah. Oh, love your brothers. Appreciate your brothers coming through. Uh, of course. Oh, the sisters who provide breakfast for us. Who, who was that? Sister Abigail and Kamaya. Sister Abigail and Sister Kamaya. Thank you, thank you for breakfast. Uh, we want to also. Would you want to say something? <laughs> oh. Bishop, Bishop, Bishop is. A, we are about to put Bishop picture in there. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's right. We are about to add Bishop picture in that thing. <laughs> uh, we want to thank brothers and sisters that's at home that's turn on turn in every Sunday. Yes. There is no show without you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, brothers and sisters, please support the Booster Club. Please support the Booster Club because without the Booster Club, we cannot go nowhere. With the Booster Club, we'll be able to work up the diaspora of our people. Please continue to support the Booster Club. Uh, anything else, Bishop? Uh, well, you know, we can't travel right now due to the. Yes, we cannot travel right now due to that. The travel ban? Is that what they call it? Yeah, travel. yeah the travel ban. So, uh, uh, those of you out of the country was waiting for us to, to you know, to travel, uh, bear with us. Uh, this thing cannot, it's not gonna last forever, so bear with us. Uh, yeah, man, then, uh, yeah, man, just keep us in your prayer, man. The Lord gonna do what He wanna do. So, yeah, we're gonna, in the spirit of the Lord, these things happen so we can get sharper and we can get more smarter, right? As a weird war. This all like, uh, this is you know what this is also teaching. I remember years ago, we put the order out for every IUIC mm -hmm. school to sanctuary to have a pantry. A up and running full pantry. Some Bro. listened, mm -hmm. some did not. Some did not. So this, what we're seeing now, these are these are new times, different times. Yeah, so brothers, fill up that pantry because you never know what could happen. Yeah, this yeah, is an yeah. example of what's going on. Even the camp sizes, they may they they're making rules, executive orders. You can't have a group of people, ten or more or twenty or more. Because remember, some of the camps are huge, like Dallas they're is huge, big. Yeah. It's going to bring us back to like Christ had said when he sent them out by twos right. and threes. We'll guess what? We'll cover more ground, and we don't have the uh, time to argue with these other little uh, hmm. kids, uh, kids, camps kids. about camp spots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I and mean, then when you're looking at this whole thing, you remember 
we got to look at that America change. From now on, is a new America. That's why you guys have to face right now. It's a new thing. From from now and moving forward, is a new America. That's Revelation twelve twelve. Where it yep. says the devil knows he has a short time and will come down yep. with great wrath. We yep. in this time. Yep. There, there is, is what Laba is saying. They're trying to change laws so to keep us from pushing the world. Exactly. That's what they're trying to do. We saw the same thing uh, when 9-11 happened. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Know, they, they changed the laws, mm -hmm. so they're doing it again now with the coronavirus. Yep. 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 They changed the laws. Yep. So Israel, be mindful. Pay attention to the news. Some of you, you hate the news. Yeah, Watch yeah. the news. Yeah, yeah, you know what happened that uh, people don't realize that you're thinking that uh, all these money that they've been destroyed, you take America, give a damn about the money. They print their own money. They don't give a damn about money. I mean, but uh, you guys have to understand that, yeah, way before this thing happened, uh, three months ago, they dropped $600 billion into their economy before this thing happened. So they know what they was doing. You understand? And that, 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 yeah, the guy that, that went it forward, he's saying he searched everything to see why the reason they dropped the $600 billion. He said he cannot see. He said, that's my job, to find out why they do that. He could not find it. Now he know. You understand? He could not find now why they dropped it. But anyway, Israel, anything else, Cap? Every year? Passover uh, Monday night. Uh, don't forget Passover Monday night. Uh... Make sure that the leaven is out of your home. Make sure the leaven is oh, out of your Clean your toasters. People always forget their toasters. You know, you got the bread, bread crumbs. Bread, bread. Yeah. Open that thing up and shake them crumbs out. The crumbs yeah. in your car. Yeah, from them that bad kids you got. Yeah, I know. And your heart, too. Yeah. Yes, that's the main thing. The main thing. <laughs> Thank All you, right. Captain Amazon. Yeah, yeah, you're, right. Right. <laughs> you're on point. You're on point with that. Raises. You're on point with that. Deep, brother. <laughs> Bring it out. Hey, uh, studying next week, Lord willing. Uh, from now on, we, I, uh, uh, Pisha said we're just going to give all these, all these young single brothers, we're going to give them a chance to be on the show as a guest. So every week we're going to invite a single brother. We're going to introduce him to the world of Israel mm. as a single brother. Tell him to comb his hair, brush his teeth. Yes. 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 Oh, we're going to, oh, we, lotion oh, on oh yeah, we're going to, we're going to invite him here. Yes, you come here, look all ashy. Oh, you're going to get it. <laughs> We're going to tell sister, break. do you really want to marry that? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you better. So when you come in, you better clean yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what is the brother who give good haircut here? What was his name? Soldier Tobit. Tobit. Uh, so that, make sure you check Soldier Tobit, man. He haircut. Uh, right, right. Uh, he all Deacon Atan up and make Deacon Atan look like an angel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> why you here, man? <laughs> but Lord willing, Lord willing, we're going to start this thing next week, man. We're going to start inviting these young men. To come uh, to the show, introduce themselves to Israel. Yes, single. They're looking for a sister. What type of sister they're looking for? So he better have oh, a job. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, Bishop. We gonna Good make standing. sure he qualifies. We're gonna make. Yeah. We're not gonna bring no bum in here. He's not qualified. Good standing. Yes. We're gonna make sure we do a background. We're gonna do a background investigation on you before we bring you here. Why? Why say Elisha? That's right. Oh, right, Israel. I think that's it. With that, yeah. say shalom. 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 We used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed But at the end of the day Nothing's in vain IUIC Has been given a vision The tents of Judah has risen Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes Gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.